hello 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 everybody this is latoya okia your spiritual life coach and motivational speaker y'all come on in come on in come on in tonight i pray that everybody has been doing awesome everybody has been doing well y'all come on in as you come into the live you are encouraged to share i want you guys to share i want y'all to share because the lord says that there are many many of you that need agreement you need somebody to agree with you on some things tonight so as you come into the live just make it a habit love and just go ahead and share go ahead and share tag anybody that the lord leads you to tag i don't care who it is if that person's name come into your mind, it didn't come into your mind for no reason. It's the Spirit of the Lord. And let God flow. Let God do what he wants to do. Y'all, I apologize for my light, and I be trying to get it right, y'all. But you got to go on anyway. You got to go on in spite of everything is not going to... You, you're not. If you're waiting until you have all your ducks in a row, you, you're never going to get started. You're never going to get started because it's going to be always something that you say, well, that could have been a little bit better. Or I could have did that a little bit better. But I hear the Lord say, do it anyway. Do it anyway. Take the scraps that you got and do it anyway. And God says, I will take the scraps that you have. And the Lord says, I will bless it. Do you understand me? God is going to take the scraps that you're using to start your dream. And God is going to jumpstart something amazing on the inside of you just by the scraps that you're using. But God says, I just want to see if you're going to be faithful over the scraps. We think that when we get started, we're supposed to have every single thing we need, every single thing we want. But I hear the Lord say, I want to see what you're going to do with the scraps. Oh, my God. Because the Lord says, if you can be faithful over a few things. If you can work it when you ain't got nobody working with you. Oh, my God. If you can work it when you ain't got but a few scraps. If you can take them little scraps and get to work. And God said, you can stay consistent with it, baby. God said, I can use you. I can use you. He said, I'm not worried about them people that got all, all the equipment and they got it all put together. Because God said, their work ethic sucks. That's what he said. He said, they may have it all, but God said, they, they, their heart is not in the right place. Their mind is not in the right place and their work ethic sucks. You got to have, you got to have uh, a work ethic, honey, that will blow your enemy's mind. Do you understand me? God said the ones that's going to get it in this season, you're going to have to do a little work, baby. You're going to have to work for it. I'm sorry. It's not going to be given to you. It's not going to fall in your lap and you shouldn't want it to be given to you because if it's given to you, anything that's just given to you, Y'all know we ain't really going to appreciate that stuff. When somebody just give us something, we don't really appreciate that stuff. So I told God, if you want me to work for my stuff, I don't mind working for it. I don't mind working for it. Y'all come on in. Come on into the live. As you come into the live, tag, 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 tag. Y'all know what I was telling y'all. Um, y'all know what I was telling y'all the other night. Don't only tag names, but the Lord is wanting you guys to tag families tag families tag families so if there's a last name that the lord has put on your heart i want you to tag i want you to start typing that last name in the comments <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hold on a few minutes before we just jump on right into this thing because the lord has told me that there are a couple of people that got to be up here there's a couple people and let me tell y'all something i need y'all to work and i need y'all to help me to get the people up here I need y'all to help me to get the people up here because there is a lot of people that God is ready to come into agreement with. There's a lot of things that you have. There's, let me tell you something. God shows me y'all's blessings. He shows me your blessings. And God says your blessings are circling the airway. Oh, my God. <clears throat> y'all know anything about an airport and when a plane get ready to land, a plane can't land. A, a plane, a plane can't land just anywhere they got to land where they have clearance oh my god god said baby your, your blessing is still in circulation in the air do you understand me god said that thing is going round and round in the air baby because you have not cleared oh my god you have not cleared the runway do you understand me and god said baby we're clearing the runway tonight 
we clearing the runway tonight, baby. We're going to clear out that runway so the plane can land with your stuff. Every single person that's under the sound of my voice, I want you to share. Share this live. Share it on your personal page. Share it on your personal page. Share it on your personal page. Share it to any groups that you may be a part of. Share it to every single group that you in. If they don't like it and they don't want it in their group, they know how to decline it. But I hear the Lord say, y'all, share it anyway. Share it anyway. Share, 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 share. Because the word is good, baby. I don't care who it's coming from. Some people can't receive the word because they don't like who it's coming from. That ain't of God because the word is good from whoever it comes from. If the word is true and that's the word of God, it's good. I don't care who mouth it coming out of. I want y'all to share. Share this live. Share this live. Share this live. Share, share, share. I need y'all working with me. I need y'all getting the people up here. I need you to tag your mom. Make sure your mom is up here. I need you to tag your dad. Make sure your dad is up here. I need you to tag Auntie Nim. We need to get Auntie Nim up here. So y'all come on and work with me. Let's get Auntie Nim up here. Let's get Uncle. Let's get Uncle up here now. Y'all know wherever Uncle is, he needs the word. Let's get Uncle up here. Tag, 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 tag. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, I need to get my uncle up here. Oh, my God. Some of y'all that know my uncle, I need somebody to go in the comments and tag Terrence Knight. Mm, I hear the Lord say there are some things that he needs to come into agreement with, with him. I'm telling y'all, God is getting ready to do something amazing. Get them, get them in here, y'all. Get every single person in here. Share this live. Start watch parties. Start watch parties on your personal page. <clears throat> Share, share, share. Tell a friend. Bring a friend. Tag your enemies. Tag your best friends. Tag your sisters. Make sure your sisters in here. Now we got to get the sisters. Get all your sisters in here. Get your co-workers in here. Tag your co-workers. And God dealt with me about that. God said we ain't been men. We ain't been witnessing. We're supposed to be children of God. We're supposed to be the sons and the daughters of God. And and these people that we work with and stuff, these people don't even know we know anything about God. Cause we ain't even been witnessing to these people. Tag your co-workers, baby. Or you don't want them to know that you serve this, this type of God. Okay. Come on, somebody. You when you you know when you know about something good, you're gonna tell everybody. You're gonna tell everybody. I hear the Lord say, tell everybody about me. Do you understand me? You better tell everybody about God, baby. Tag these people. If they don't, if they got a problem with y'all, tag them, they'll block you. And you don't need nobody like that on your friend list anyway. You don't need nobody like that in your circle anyway you need some people in your circle that's going to be excited about the word baby you need some people that's going to be excited about the word you need some people that when you tag them on a live like this they come back and tell you oh thank you baby because i was going through it do you understand me i was going through it and i needed that word you need somebody like that if they got a problem with the word baby something wrong with them it's something in them that ain't supposed to be in there glory be to god y'all tag them tag them and get them in here Tag them and get them in here. We're going to be patient. We're going to be a little patient tonight. Y'all know I take off quick. But I hear the Lord say, be patient. Be patient. Because as you're coming into this live, I want you to make sure that you get, bring your faith. Bring your faith. I need y'all to bring your faith. Do you understand me? When Jesus was getting ready to work miracles, this was the son of the living God. This is the son of the living God. The lamb, the savior of the world, our redeemer. But even when he got ready to work certain miracles, he couldn't have everybody. Come on, somebody. He couldn't have everybody in the room with him, baby. He had to put some of the people out. Do you understand me? He had to take the, un he had to take the unbelievers. He had to put the doubters out of the room. So everybody that's coming into this live up here with me tonight, let me tell you something, baby. We getting ready to touch and agree. Do you understand me? Uh, until my phone shut off, until the devil try to stop me, I'm coming back again. I don't care. I'm finna do what does say it. the Lord. God said y'all blessings finna get ready to land tonight. Do you understand me? The plane is landing tonight. Somebody comment on this live, baby, said my plane is landing tonight. My blessings been circling around, baby, but I'm clearing the airway because my plane getting ready to land tonight. It's landing tonight, baby. 
Oh, yes. God sent me to bring this word to you. Do you understand me? God sent me to set the captives free. Oh, my God. Every single person under the sound of my voice. Father, every single person that you have touched to hear this word. God, wherever they are in the world right now. Oh, my God. Wherever they are in the world right now, wherever they at, God, and they scrolling on their phone, God, lead their fingers to this life. Oh, my God. Lead their fingers to this life, God, because I know what you said to me, and I know what you told me to do. Now, Lord, I done done what you told me to do. Oh, my God. Y'all know that song say, Lord, I done done what you told me to do. Let me tell you something, baby. When you do what God tell you to do, you got a peace. There's a peace. Even when the world is in chaos, when you do what God tell you to do, baby, there's a peace. There's a peace. I want y'all to lead this live with that peace tonight. Do you understand me? That's right, baby. Let the devil know, say, my plane is landing tonight. It's landing tonight, baby. Uh-huh. My plane is landing. As y'all come into the live, drop your location, baby. Put your location in the comments. God is locating you tonight, and God is landing your plane tonight. Your blessings are coming in tonight because I came to come in agreement with you. Oh, my God. I came to come in agreement with you, baby. Glory be to God. God said y'all stuff been in the airway. He said it, it's been in the air circling around. It ain't landed yet. Cause God said you ain't got nobody to touch and agree with you. Oh my God. You ain't got nobody that got faith, baby. You got to get your, let me tell you something, baby. Jesus put the unbelievers out. He told them to get out the room. You got to tell these folks to get out, baby. If they don't believe that God can move for you, if they ain't got enough faith to touch and agree with you, put them folks out. Put them out. You need somebody that got some faith, and you need somebody that going to touch and agree with you. Now, and these folks ain't got nobody that's going to touch and agree with them. So y'all work with me and help me get them up here. Help me get the people of God up here. Tag this video. Share this video. Start watch parties. Share to any groups that you may be a part of. Because the Lord says it's time for us to get an agreement. It's time for us to get an agreement. It's time for us to get an agreement. God is going to do something amazing. Do you understand me? He spoke it to me. Not too many, not too many hours ago, God said agreement. Agreement. God said, I need, they need to understand that when they come into agreement with another person of the faith, let me tell y'all something. There's power in agreement. That's why the devil want to make y'all, he want to divide and, and conquer. He ain't got no new tricks. All the devil do is divide and conquer, baby. He make you think that that person is why they, he, he come put a thought in your mind. Why are they looking at me like that? Then next thing you know, there you go. Ooh, they, well, I, they just look, I don't like how she looking at me. She looking at me. I don't like the side of her eye. And them folks ain't even stunning you. But that's what the devil done put in your mind. You done, you done took that thought and ran with it. Now you thinking folks don't like you. And them folks were probably just staring off in space. Mad by something somebody said to them or they bills or anything. And you sitting up there to my, mm, I just don't like how she looking at me. That's a strategy of the devil. Do you understand me? He divides and conquers. Because he knows that when we come together, uh-huh. When we put all that old beef to the side. When we lay all that mess to the side. And we come together. Oh, baby, he know we'll move mountains. We'll move mountains. Do you understand me? When we come together, the devil know, baby, we'll shake the we'll shake the gates of hell. Do you understand me, baby? One person. Imagine what one person can do when they believe God. Oh, baby, when you get that one person that believe God and you add one more, don't mess around and add another one. Oh, my God. Baby, God said y'all could take 10,000. Y'all could take a million. Do you understand me? And I'm going to tell you something else. My faith is just this crazy. Every single name that I call out on this live tonight, if you got the same faith I got, I can, as the, as, as the old folks say, I can guarantee. I can guarantee you that you're going to call me with a testimony. Oh, my God. I can guarantee you, baby, that you're going to hit me up with a testimony. Tell you, baby, I got what you said I was going to get. Oh, my God. I got God moved for me, baby. God, you know why he moved for you? Because you came in agreement with somebody that got faith. Oh, my God. You've been talking to the wrong folks, baby. You've been telling the wrong folks your plans. You've been telling the wrong folks your business. You got to come in agreement with somebody that can believe that God going to move for you. And it's going to be the very person that y'all ain't thinking about. Uh huh. It ain't going to be your best friends. Oh, my God. It ain't going to be the ones you roll with every day, every day baby. Uh-uh. It's the folks that you done looked over. Okay. 
You ain't the only one, baby. I done looked over folks too. Mm -hmm. I done called myself high and mighty and looked over folks too. And God had to send me right back to them same people. Okay. Ain't nobody high and mighty, baby. God see us all the same. We're all on the same level. I don't care what your title is. I don't care if you're a prophet or such and such. I don't care if you're an apostle or such and such. I don't care if you're bishop or such and such. We're all on the same level. God don't put you up on no pedestal just because you have a title. Glory be to God. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Share, share, share. Share, share, share. And we about to get ready to get started. But I can guarantee you, baby, as they say, worry-free guarantee. This is a worry-free, oh, my God. Somebody comment that, baby. Drop that in the comments. Say, worry-free guarantee. Glory be to God. Worry-free guarantee. Because that's what God is giving y'all tonight. Glory be to God. God giving y'all the worry-free guarantee, baby. Satisfaction guaranteed. Glory be to God. Worry-free guarantee. Only God can give you that, baby. Glory be to God. Let God give you the worry-free guarantee. Worry-free guarantee. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. As you come in, every single person that's coming into the live, share this live. Share this live. Share this live. Share this live. Because we're getting ready to come into agreement, baby. And I can guarantee you, <clears throat> I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, not many days from this live, oh my God, not many days from this live, God is going to move for you. The very thing that we agree on, God is going to move for you, baby. And let me tell you something, if you ain't got you a, a, a touch and agree partner, you better get you somebody you can touch and agree with. You better get you somebody you can touch and agree with. You better get you somebody in the faith that you can lock hands with them folks. And you say, baby, I need you to come in agreement with me on some stuff that God going to move for me. But you see, you can't just come into agreement with just anybody because people don't want you to prosper. Oh, my God. They don't want you to prosper, baby. They, they, they tell you, uh-huh. They tell you that, oh, I don't want nothing but the best for you. Oh, my God. <clears throat> but secretly... I hear the Lord say secretly, baby, they praying for your downfall. Oh, my God. And God said that while your blessing is still circling. Oh, my God. God said the blessing is still circling because you're linking up with folks. Okay. You linking up with folks that ain't got nothing to do with your destiny. Oh, my God. You don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Uh-huh. You want to be everybody's friend. Oh, my God. You want everybody to like you. Let me tell you something, baby. If you're seeking to be a friend of the world, you're going to be an enemy unto God. If you ain't ready for people to hate you, oh my God. If you ain't ready for people to hate your guts, they gonna hate your guts. Do you understand me? And you ain't been, you ain't gonna be done did nothing to these people. They just gonna hate you, baby. Jesus said they're gonna hate you for my name's sake. They hate you because of the God that's on the inside of you, baby. Stop stressing and crying and worried about why they don't like me. I ain't never did nothing to them. Why they can't forgive me? Why they can't let they can't let it go, baby, because of the God that's on the inside of you. Oh, my God. That spirit that's in them, baby, the God on the inside of you, it irritates that spirit. It irritates that spirit, baby, because the Bible says that when Jesus stepped on the scene, baby, the demons began to cry out. Oh, my God. They began to cry out. Do you understand me? They couldn't stand it. They couldn't stand the light that Jesus was carrying. And I hear the Lord say, baby, you are my child, just as Jesus is my child, baby. And God said, I put a light on the inside of you. Oh, my God. And God said, baby, when you step on the scene, they can't stand it. God said, when your light show up, it irritate that demon on the inside of them. Oh, my God. That's why they don't like you, baby. That's why they talk about you. Oh, my God. That's why they, come on now. Come on, somebody. And God said, we crying and we sad and mad. You better be glad. Because if everybody like you, something wrong. If everybody loves you, everybody likes you, everybody adores you, there's something stinking going on with that. That's not Something is not right. Something is not right. We finna get ready to get into this agreement. But I want y'all to listen to this story. I heard a man tell a story. Oh, my God. I heard a man tell a story 
And in this story, this man was telling that he was talking about a dream that he had. He was talking about a dream that he had. And he said, in this dream, oh my God. He said, in this dream, he was standing on the stage. And he said there were millions of people in the audience. Oh my God. And he said there were millions of people. And he said every single person that was in the audience, he said they was up on their feet. They were standing up on their feet. They were cheering. They were calling. They were screaming his name. They was clapping for him. They was applauding him. They was, they, they, they were big fans of his. This was, this man was standing on the stage. There were millions of people. All of them were screaming and shouting and cheering his name. They loved him so. Oh, they just loved him so. And the man said, as he looked out into the audience, out of all these millions of people he saw standing on their feet, cheering for him, he said, there was a man. Oh, my God. There was a man on the front row. Y'all listen to what I'm saying. He said, there was a man on the front row now. And he said, a man was sitting in the middle on the front row. And he said, everybody else was on their feet and they was cheering. But he said, it was one man sitting on the front row. And he said this man was sitting down. He said he was not on his feet. This man was sitting down and this man had his head down. And he was weeping and he was crying. Oh my God. Listen to what I'm saying now, baby. Because God going to reveal something to you from this story. This man was on the stage. Millions of people screaming his name. Cheering for him. Loving him. But this one man was on the front row with his head down. And he said it bothered him so that this one man... Out of all these people that were cheering for him, this one man that was not standing up, he said he felt offended. He felt like, how dare you come to my show and you don't stand up for me like everybody else is standing up for me. You don't call my name like everybody else is calling my name. So he said he went down off the stage. He walked off the stage and he went to the front row because he had to see who this man was. Oh my God. How dare you come to my show and you don't stand up for me and you don't yell for me. You don't. Come on, somebody. He was full of himself. Oh, my God. He got, he got down off the stage, baby, went in front of the man, and he asked the man, why are you sitting? Why are you sitting here with your head down? And, baby, he said when the man lifted up his head, it was Jesus. Oh, my God. It was Jesus. Somebody comment on this live, baby, said it was Jesus. Oh, my God. It was Jesus, baby. And the man said he woke up. Oh, my God. When the man opened up, when the man lifted up his head and looked at him, he said it was Jesus that was looking at him, baby. It was Jesus that was sitting there with his head down. And the man said when he woke up, he had a revelation that changed his whole life. Oh, my God. The man said this revelation changed his whole life, baby. The whole world was for him. Oh, my God. They loved him. Oh, my God. But Jesus was disappointed in him. Do you understand me? Jesus was disappointed in him because he was not doing what the Father called him to do. Oh, my God. He was not doing what God told him to do. He wasn't walking in his God-given purpose. I don't care how much success you reach, baby. I don't care how many lives you impact. I don't care how many millions of people are on your team. I don't care how many followers you got. Oh, my God. If you ain't doing what God made you to do, God said, I don't care. You could be a success to the world and you will be a failure unto God. I'd rather for the whole world to be against me. Oh, my God. I'd rather for the whole world to be against me, baby, than for God to turn his back on me. Because out of all them people that were standing and cheering for him, God was disappointed. God was disappointed. And God said, that's the way it's going to be on that day when we stand before him. Oh, my God. That's the way it's going to be when these people come and stand before God. They're going to think that they're going to get a pat on their back. And God said, he's going to tell these four, baby, just because you were successful in the world, you was a failure unto me. Uh-huh. God said, you a failure. Because God said, you didn't do what I made you to do. You didn't carry out my purpose. You carried out your own purpose. And God said, you thought you, you did something because you were successful in that thing. The devil will bless you too, baby. Somebody comment on this live. Say, the devil will bless you too. Uh-huh. He'll bless you too. And he'll bless you so he can bind you. Y'all know how folks do. You can't leave me. I done did this for you. I done did that for you. Uh-huh. The devil will bless you, baby, so he can get you all locked up in that contract. Uh-huh. He got you then. Y'all watch these folks that's coming with the quick come up. Because God don't work like that. Oh, my God. God don't work like that, baby. Uh-uh. Watch these folks that come around with the keys to your destiny. They, they, they jingling the keys in your face. Talking about, come on, come go with me. Come roll with me. I can give you this. I can give you that. God said, so you better leave them folks right where they at. And you better go walk this process. Tell these folks, baby, I don't want nothing except God give it to me. 
Because when God give it to me, baby, it's for a lifetime. Oh, my God. When God bless you, baby, God bless you for generations. Oh, my God. God said, when I bless you, no man can. Oh, my God. God said, baby, when I bless you, no man can curse you. Do you understand me? God said, baby, when I open up a door for you, God said, no man can shut it. I know what I'm talking about. Share this live if you ain't already shared it. Share this live. Because God finna get ready to bless some of y'all on this live tonight, baby. God said them doors that been shed in y'all face. God said he opening them up tonight. And God said, I dare somebody to try it. God said, when I open up a door, no man can shut it. When I bless you, baby, anybody that put their mouth on you, anybody that come in your way, God said they got to move out of your way. They got to move out of your way, baby. Don't seek success of the world. Do you understand me? But the Bible says to seek ye first the kingdom of God. Oh, my God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, baby. And all of those things will be added unto you. God going to give you the millions and millions of followers if that's what you want. Oh, my God. God going to give you the millions and millions of dollars if that's what you want. God going to kill your body. He going to restore your health if that's what you want. He going to do it for you, baby. But God said, I need you to get in my kingdom first, baby. The kingdom of God is in your mind. It is within you. God said, I need you to change your mindset, baby. I need you to change the way you think. God said, I need you to be not conformed to the image of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's the kingdom, baby. Woo! That's the kingdom. It ain't in the building. Do you understand me? It's not in the building because God said they're getting ready to tear the buildings down. Oh, my God. I know what I'm talking about. God said they're getting ready to tear the buildings down, baby. God said you're going to find out who's faking and shaking and who got this thing for real because you can't fake a belief. You either believe it or you don't, baby. The kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is in your mind. Jesus said my kingdom is not of this world. It ain't in no building. Oh, my God. It's not of this world, baby. It's in your mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Baby, your heart is your mind. As you think in your mind, so are you. I don't care what nobody tell you. If you believe it, that's just what you are. You could be walking around in rags, baby. In your mind, if you believe you're a king, that's just who you are. That's just who you are. And as long as you hold that belief and you keep believing that you're a king, baby, eventually your outer reality going to start shaping up with what you believe in your mind. It's going to manifest. Do you understand me? It's going to manifest. The same way you take a person and give them millions of dollars, if they believe in their mind that they ain't nothing, if they don't believe they deserve that and they don't believe they ain't, they believe that they ain't nothing, a fool and his money will soon part ways. I don't care how much money you try to give them. I don't care how much success you try to give them. If they ain't got it in their mindset, they are not going to keep it. Do you understand me? And God said that's why a lot of the blessings are still circling and they ain't landed because you ain't changed your mindset. God said we got to come out of this stinking thinking. Glory be to God. Somebody comment that, baby. Drop that in the comments. Say, stinking thinking. God said, our thinking stinks. It stinks. We want the blessing, but God said, mm-mm, something ain't right with that mindset. God said, baby, you can take the people out of Egypt, but you can't take Egypt out the people. He said, I done tried it before, woman of God. He said, I am God, and there's none like me. He said, I done tried it before now. And if God tried it and God could, come on now. If God can't do it, baby, it can't be done. God said the, the, the mind of a human is the most powerful thing in the world. Can't nobody control your mind but you. And that power, you can give it away, but nobody can take it. You can give it away. You give that power away. Stop giving your power to the enemy. Do you understand me? The power is in your mind. It's in your mind. These things that I'm getting ready to come into agreement with y'all on tonight, it's all in your mind. It's all in your mind. It's all in your mind. Jesus said, according to your faith, so be it unto you. Everything. If it don't happen for you, it's because you didn't believe it was going to happen. Come on, somebody. But that's why I told you, if you got faith, oh my God. If you got faith the size of a mustard seed, baby, you can stand at the mountain. Oh my God. You can tell the mountain to be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Oh my God. It don't take but a little bit of faith, baby. What my folks with the faith that God finna get ready to come into agreement with you tonight. We finna come into agreement tonight. Uh-huh. Tonight. Glory be to God. And I can I come out, I, I I I command you all to come out of that stinking thinking. Uh-huh. God spoke to me about that today. God said the same way I took the people, the same way I took the children of Israel out of Egypt. 
The same way I took them out of Egypt. He said, I couldn't take Egypt out of them. Because Egypt is a mindset. Bondage is a mindset. The Lord wants to bless you, but he can't bless you until you're free within your mind. Oh, my God. You got to free your mind, baby. Glory be to God. God said, I can take you out the projects, but the projects is still in you. Oh, my God. It's still in your mindset. So God said, if I put you in a mansion, you're going to go to that mansion with that project mindset. You're going to take them same habits. You're going to take that same way of life, and you're going to think you can go over there. You ain't going to be able to go over there and live like that, baby. You're going to have to change your mindset. Glory be to God. It's got to be a change. When you change this right here, when you change this, it changes everything. See, you trying to stop smoking. You trying to stop drinking. Oh, Lord, if I could just stop drinking, I, I'd be all right. I'd be all right. Don't single out one habit, baby. Don't single out one habit and try to take on that habit because it's going to overpower you every single time. It's going to overtake you every single time. Glory be to God. Don't try to do that. You got to go in there. You got to attack that mindset. You got to attack that mindset. Once you go straight for the mindset, it cancels everything. It cancels everything. When God renews you, when he transforms you, by the renewing of your mind, it changes everything. It's a total reprogram upload. Boom. From A to Z. God change everything. He come in and wipe out everything. And he give you a new program. Oh my God. A new program, baby. Just by your mind. You can try to stop drinking. You can try to stop gossiping. You can, start a, you can try to stop doing whatever you want to do. You ain't never going to be able to stop. Because it's in your mind. It's in your mind. Until you address the mindset that produces that behavior, it's going to continue to go on. That's why y'all go in these churches and folks lay hands on you. And ain't nothing wrong with the men and women of God. They are powerful men and women of God. <coughs> ain't nothing wrong with them. But it's a mindset. You got to make the decision to change your mindset. You got to, in order for you to change your mindset, you got to get sick and tired, baby. You got to get sick and tired of where you at. You got to get disgusted with where you at. You got to say, not one more day will I live in this mess. Not one more day will I deal with this mess. I ain't sitting here no more, devil. Oh, baby, when you say that and you mean that, that when God come in. Oh, my God. God said, I can come in now. Nah. Uh-huh. I could do something with you now. Nah. Because God said, you're tired. Oh, my God. But God said, I got to let you keep on running, baby, till you get tired. Oh, my God. God said, you ain't tired yet. You got to get sick and tired. The devil got to drag you a little bit longer. Oh, my God. When the devil, baby, let me tell you something. That's a dangerous place to be in. Because God going to let you get to the end of that rope. Oh, my God. When you get to the end of the rope, baby, that's when it feel like your back is up against the wall. Uh-huh. That's when it feel like you just can't take it no more, baby. Oh, my God. But God said, I'm, I'm right here. God said, I ain't left you. I'm right here. I'm waiting on you. Uh-huh. I'm waiting on, God is waiting on you, baby, to make up in your mind. Woo. Somebody comment on this live. Say, I got to make up in my mind. It's a mindset. I got to make up in my mind, baby. Because once you done made that thing up in your mind, can't nobody change your mind. Do you understand me? Because the mind is the most powerful weapon in the world, baby. It's the most powerful weapon. Even God couldn't change it. Oh, my God. Even God couldn't change it, baby. He could. He took the children of Israel out of Egypt, but he couldn't take Egypt out of them. So they walked around in the desert for 40 years. Oh, my God. A journey that was only meant to be a few days turned into 40 years. They walked around in the desert for 40 years until they died out one by one. Do you understand me? God had to let these folks die out one by one because he got them out of Egypt. But he couldn't get Egypt out of their mind. Their minds were still in bondage. So God let them die. Oh, my God. But from the ashes. Oh, my God. From the ashes, baby. Oh, I feel God moving. Do you understand me? Somebody comment on this live, baby. Said from the ashes. Oh, God said from the ashes, baby. I arose a new generation out of that bullshit. We are the new generation, baby. Oh my God, that's why the old folks. Let me tell y'all, I don't have no no disrespect to my elderly people. Oh my God, no disrespect. But I see 
the elderly people don't really connect with me like that. They don't connect with me like that. Now, come tell you why. I come up against everything that they was taught. They don't rock with it like this. They looking at me like, why you look like this? Why are you talking like this? Why are you dressed like this? Why, baby, let me tell you something. God, God sent me to change my generation. Oh, my God. I came to change my generation, baby. I got to get y'all this thing how y'all used to it. Oh, my God. I can't come in being somebody I'm not. I got to be who God made me to be, baby. I came to change my generation from the ashes. We came up, baby. We are the descendants of the unbelievers. Do you understand me? We are the descendants, baby, from the ashes. God arose a new generation. Oh, my God. It's 2020, baby. This is a new generation. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, I, I arose you from the ashes. God said, woman of God, you came out of the ashes. God said the devil had them buried you. Oh, my God. God said he had them threw all kind of fire at you, baby. He thought he had them burnt you up. Oh, my God. But God said, I brought you back from the ashes. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Somebody come in on this live, baby. I feel God moving. Do you understand me? God is moving, baby. God said the devil thought he had them burnt y'all up, baby. But God said I'm bringing you back from the ashes. If you ain't shared this live, baby, share this live. Say from the ashes. Woo! From the ashes, baby. They thought you were dead. Oh, my God. They thought you were dead, baby. But God rose you up from the ashes. Uh-huh. God said I rose you up, baby. And you the Joshua generation. And I hear the Lord say, go get that land. Oh, my God. God said, go get what I promised you. Uh-huh. God said, go get what your great-great-grandmama and them never got a chance to get. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, go get what your ancestors never walked into. Baby, God said, kick it in beast mode. Take off and go get what I promised you. And I hear the Lord say, you're you going to pursue and you shall recover all. Oh, my God. God said, the devil done took it. It been held up from the fire. Oh, my God. The devil done snatched your stuff. It's been held up from you. But I hear the Lord say, your plane is landing tonight. From the ashes, I brought you up. Oh, my God. God said the devil had them burnt you up, baby. Ooh. Let me tell y'all something. Only God can bring, bring something from back from the dead. Only God can bring up something from the ashes. Y'all know when something done burnt the ashes, it's done. It's incinerated. It's done. But I hear the Lord say, I am God. There is none like me. And God said, is there anything too hard for me? God said, I bring my people back from the dust. Oh, my God. God bring you back from the ashes, baby. Ooh, when y'all get out this live, ooh we, ooh we. When you get out this live, baby, make a post. Uh huh. Say God brought me back from the ashes. Ooh, make a post, baby. Tag me in that thing so I can touch and agree with you. Make a post, baby. When you come out this live, tag me in that thing. Tag me in that thing, baby. Say God brought me back from the ashes. Oh my God. The devil thought he had burnt me up, but God rose me up again, baby. He brought me back from the ashes. Ooh. I'm the Joshua generation. Uh-huh. I am the descendant of the unbeliever. Oh, my God. I told y'all, baby, God said our ancestors, they watching us. Oh, my God. God said they watching over you. And God said they praying for you. Oh, my God. God said you got a whole kingdom of folks backing you up, baby. They praying for you. And God said you going to walk into this land. Oh, my God. God said you going to step off in this thing, baby. God said the devil ain't going to like it. Oh, he ain't going to like it. Do you understand me? It going to tear him up, baby. He can't stand it because he thought he killed you. He thought he buried you he thought you were gone baby but god brought you back from the ashes baby if i was if i was on stage i'd be running right now oh my god i'm trying to sit in this chair oh my god i'm trying to sit in this chair baby but i want to get up and run do you understand me because god brought y'all back from the ashes Woo! he brought you back from the ashes baby glory be to god devil had to burn you up sent the fire threw you in the furnace he threw you in the furnace, baby, and he locked the, he locked the door and he threw away the key. He thought you, he left you for dead. Oh, my God. The devil left you for dead, baby. These folks done walked off and left y'all. They ain't, let me tell you something. These folks done ghosted y'all. They done did y'all all kind of way. The devil done threw you in the furnace, locked the door, and threw away the key. But I hear the Lord say, I have sent my spirit. Oh, my God. God said, when the devil come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. The Lord has sent his spirit, baby. And God said, I'm coming in that furnace. Uh-huh. He the God of the furnace, baby. You ain't know. Oh, my God. God said, I come in that thing with you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. His feet were like brass. Do you understand me? Oh, my God. That's because he had been in the furnace, baby. He'll walk in that fire with you. He walk in that thing with you, baby. Oh, my God. He walk in that thing with you. Glory be to God. So if the devil done threw you in the fire, oh my God. If they done threw you under the bus, baby, your co-workers done lied on you. Oh my God. They done threw your name out as being evil. Oh my God. 
God said, somebody on this live, baby, it's some people that's conspiring against you. Uh-huh. It's some people that have come up against you, baby. Oh, my God. But they don't know that you got the spirit of God on the inside of you. And God said, I'm getting ready to lift up a standard on your enemies. Glory be to God. I'm lifting up a standard. Oh, my God. I'm sending in my spirit. And God said, I'm bringing you back from the ashes, baby. And God said, when the devil see you again, baby, he ain't going to be able to believe it. Because he thought he left you for dead, baby. He thought you were gone. He thought you were done for. But when God got his hand on your life, oh, my God. When God got his hand on your life, baby, nobody can take your life. Somebody come in on this lie, baby, said, no man can take my life. You can't take my life, devil. Jesus told him, he said, I lay it down. Oh, my God. You can't take my life, devil. I lay it down. And if I lay this thing down, I'm going to pick it back up again. Oh, my God. My father going to resurrect me. Do you understand me? My father is going to bring me back again. Glory be to God. You can't take my life, devil. I lay this thing down. Oh, my God. I lay it down. But I'm only laying it down for a little while, baby, because my father going to pick it back up again. Glory be to God. But I ain't laying nothing down till I fulfill this purpose. Oh, my God. I got to fulfill this purpose for her, baby. Uh-huh. Y'all going to see this thing manifest. Oh, my God. And I hear the Lord say, baby, when it manifests, God said, I'm going to be just like Paul. I've been poured out like a drink offering. Oh, my God. I'm ready to be offered up. I ain't got nothing else left. But until I fulfill my purpose, baby, I got an assignment. I can't leave right now. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, you can't go nowhere right now, baby. God said, I put a purpose on the inside of you. Oh, my God. And God said, the devil cannot destroy you, baby. He can't take your life. Because I spoke over you. And I am God. And when God speaks, baby, that's law. Y'all don't forget to make that post. Tag me in it. Say, God brought me back from the ashes. He rose me up from the ashes. The devil had to put me in the fire. But God brought me back from the ashes. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He brought you back from the ashes, baby. That ought to make somebody happy. I need you to get happy and I need you to get in faith before we go into this. Before we go into this agreement, we're going to get ready to come into agreements. Uh-huh. Let me tell y'all something. Your thoughts are powerful. Watch what you think about. Watch what you think about now. Be conscious of what you're thinking about because your thoughts are power. That's power, baby. And whatever you think on, that's what you give your power to. Don't you think on nothing if you don't want it to happen. You better stop thinking about it. You better go put your mind on something else. I'm telling y'all, them thoughts, they got power. Your thoughts are energy. Your thoughts send out vibrations. Oh, my God. And they attract things that are on the same vibration. So if you vibrate in depression, oh, my God, you're going to pull in depression. Do you understand me? You're going to find yourself surrounded by folks that's depressed all the time, just like you. Uh-huh. That's why they say what goes around comes around. Because if you run if you run around here ripping folks off, lying to people, that's what you vibrate, that's what you thinking on, that's what you sending out, that's what you're going to pull in. Uh-huh, somebody finna come rip you off. Oh, my God. Somebody finna, okay, come on, somebody. Somebody going to come steal from you. Because that's what you put out into the universe, baby, and it's going to come right back to you. And I hear the Lord say you better make sure you sow good seeds. Do you understand me? Sow good seeds so you can reap a good harvest. Drop your comments in the comment section. Whatever you want the Lord to agree with you on tonight, I want you to drop it. And every single one that the Lord leads me to call out, I'm calling it out on tonight. Y'all share this live if you've not already shared it. Share this live. Because we're coming into agreement tonight. We're coming into agreement tonight. The book of Matthew, Jesus told them, Jesus said again, I say unto you, and these ain't toy words, these are God words. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Oh, yes, baby. God is in the midst of this. God is in the midst of this, baby. Uh-huh. Because you got some faith. I got some faith. And we finna touch and agree in the spirit. We finna come together in the spirit. Uh-huh. And when I speak that thing, I declare and I decree that it shall manifest. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, Heather Nicole, I declare and I decree, baby, that, you, that the Lord shall heal you. Oh my God. I hear the Lord say, is there anything too hard for me? Glory be to God. Is there anything too hard for me? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Joe the Breeze, I got your message. I got your message. I come into agreement with you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. I touch and agree with you right now that the Lord shall move for you, Jody. Oh my God. He shall move for you in a mighty way. Oh my God. I come into an agreement with you. Uh huh. I touch hands with you in the spirit, baby, that the Lord shall move for you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody that I cannot call out on the live, I'm going to go back on the replay and I'm going to call it out before God. And I will be touching and agreeing with you. Oh my God. I will be touching and agreeing with you. Glory be to God. Terrence, Terrence West. Terrence West. I come into agreement with you right now. I touch and agree with you that the Lord will heal your body. Oh my God. He will heal you of the kidney disease. Glory be to God. He going to free you, baby. Do you understand me? Oh my God. I hear the Lord say, mm. God said, get a vision of your healing in your mind, Terrence West. Oh my God. I hear the Lord say, get a vision of your healing in your mind. And for the Lord say, meditate on it day and night. God told Joshua, if you meditate on my word, you shall have good success and I shall make your way prosperous. Oh my God. Terrence, I hear the Lord say, baby, get a vision of your healing in your mind because I am coming into agreement with you tonight that the Lord is going to move for you. He's going to heal you for Jesus bore your sicknesses and your diseases on the cross and by his stripes, baby, you are healed. That thing is already done. It's already done. And Terrence, every time the enemy try to tell you that it ain't going to work out, oh my God, I want you to tell him God brought me back from the ashes. Oh my God. God brought me back from the ashes and the Lord shall heal my body. It's already done. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Kivia, I come into agreement with you. I come into agreement with you right now. I touch and agree with you that the Lord will strengthen his relationship with you. Oh my God. He's going to, he's going to continue to transform your mind. Oh my God. I hear the Lord say, Kiva, he going to change you so much, baby, till you ain't even going to recognize yourself. Oh my God. God said, when you look at yourself in the mirror, baby, God said, you're not going to see the same person. Uh huh. God said, no more, no more you, but it shall be God, baby. It shall be God. Do you understand me? I come into agreement with you right now. The devil don't like it, Kiva, but he can't do nothing to stop it. Oh, my God. I touch and agree with you right now, baby, in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Chastity, Janae, I come into agreement with you right now that the Lord will heal you and he will heal your family. Oh, my God. He will give you strength to walk into your purpose. I touch and agree with you. For the Lord say it is given unto you according to your faith. Oh, my God. God said all you need is faith the size of a mustard seed, baby. And God said he's going to make that thing happen for you. I hear the Lord say it shall manifest. Uh huh. God said whatsoever you put forth your hands to do, chastity, the Lord says I shall bless it. I shall bless it. I shall bless it. It is done already for you. Oh my God, Latonya Wimbush, I come into agreement with you right now. I come into agreement. I come into agreement with you, Latonya, that the Lord is going to move for you. Oh my God. I just read to y'all in the word. Jesus said himself, baby, with two or three touch and agree on anything. He said, I will be in the midst of them. Latonya, baby, I want to let you know that God is in the midst of this. God is in the midst of your situation. Oh my God. God is in the midst. God said, I was already in that thing, baby. Ooh, Latonya, I hear the Lord say, before you ever got in it, God said, I was already in it. Oh, my God. God said, I was already in the furnace, baby. I was already in there waiting on you. Oh, my God. And God said, I already worked that thing out. God shows me the lion's den. Editable side. Latonya Wimbush, God said, you've been in the lion's den. Oh, my God. God said, you've been in the lion's den, baby. But God said, he getting ready to shut the mouth of the lion. Oh, my God. God said, you're going to lay down and sleep with lions, baby. Oh, my God. And God said, they not going to harm you. Uh-huh. God said, as I was with Daniel, Latonya, oh, my God. As I was with Daniel in the lion's den, so shall I be with you. Oh, my God. God said, you've been in the lion's den, baby, but don't you worry, because God is going to turn the nature. Let me tell y'all something. Only God. I feel God moving. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. Only God, baby. Only God. Can't nobody do it but God. Somebody comment on this live. Say, only God, baby. Ooh, only God. God said, I'm the only one that can turn the nature of a lion to a lamb. Oh, my 
God, God said, baby, your enemy been huffing and puffing. He been roaring in your life. But God said, I'm getting ready to change the nature of that lion to a lamb. Editable side. God said, you're going to lay down with the giants. Oh, my God. God said, you're going to be in the midst of them four, baby, and they ain't even going to be able to harm you. Glory be to God. Don't y'all get upset when your enemy come round. Oh, my God. Don't get upset when they come round, baby, because God said, baby, I, I'm going to be with you just like I was with Daniel. God said, Daniel, pray to me three times a day. Latonya, baby, I hear the Lord say, pray three times a day. Edit that both sides. I hear the Lord say, stay on your face. Oh, my God. God said, I'm going to turn the nature of that lion to a lamb. Glory be to God. Only God can do it, baby. Can't nobody else do it. Can't nobody else do it but God. Nobody but God. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. Deja Jackson, I come into agreement with you. Uh-huh. That the Lord will give you strength to let go of anything that is not for you. I hear the Lord say, I hope I'm pronouncing your first name right, baby, but it's D-A-J-A -A, and then it's E Jackson. Oh my God. But the Lord said, you done made up in your mind. Uh-huh. God, you done made up in your mind that you're ready to serve him. Oh my God. You done made up in your mind, baby, that everything that ain't going your way got to get off of your wagon. Oh my God. I hear the Lord say, that's all I need, Deja. God said, that's all I need is a person with a well-made up mind. I come into agreement with you right now, baby, that the Lord shall strengthen you. Oh my God. He shall strengthen you, baby. God said, just call my name. Oh my God. Deja, I hear the Lord say, call my name. Mm-hmm. God said, just call on the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Call on the name of Jesus, baby. Because let me tell you something. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Oh, my God. It's a strong tower, baby. Just his name. Oh, my God. Just his name is stronger than any tower, baby, that's built in this earth realm. God said, call on the name of Jesus, baby. When the devil get hot on your tracks, call on the name of Jesus. Uh-huh. Because God said, I'm going to come in, baby, just like that mama eagle come in. And God said, I'm going to swoop in and I'm going to take care of that situation for you. The Lord is giving you strength right now, baby. Receive it in the name of Jesus. For the Bible said, let the weak declare that I am strong. Oh, God. Baby, I want you to get up every morning and say that affirmation. Say, I am strong. Mm -hmm. Tell the devil, baby. He wants you to think that you weak. But I want you to tell the devil, I am strong. Because God brought me back from the ashes, baby. Devil, you thought you burnt me up. Devil, you thought you had my life. You left me for dead. But I am strong. Because the Lord rose me up from the ashes. That's what I want you to say, baby. If you got to go back and play this again, write it down, do what you need to do. But I hear the Lord say, you got to say this thing. Because God said, you're going to have to speak yourself out of this stuff. Uh-huh. You're going to have to speak it, baby. It's going to have to come out of your mouth. Oh, my God. Tell the devil, say, I am strong. Y'all share this live. You ain't already shared it. Glory be to God. God is moving mountains for y'all tonight. You can say what you want to say, devil. God is moving mountains for his people tonight. God said he's not going to let y'all blessings keep circling around. Them things, them, them blessings finna get ready to land. It's coming in. Clear the airway, baby, because your stuff about to come in. Glory be to God. Sharonda, tell me. Sharonda Tillman, I declare and I decree, baby, I come into agreement with you by the power of God. Oh, my God. By the spirit of the living God, I come into, oh, my God. I come into spiritual agreement with you right now that the Lord shall give you the fruit of the spirit. I hear the Lord say, Sharonda Tillman, I'm getting ready to give you the fruits. Oh, my God. You're getting the fruit of the spirit, baby. Uh-huh. You're going to get your happiness. Oh, my God. You're going to get the love that you desire. You're going to get the joy. Uh-huh. And God said, don't you worry about the finances, baby. God said, don't you worry about the finances because God said they're coming. Do you understand me? The finances are coming. I hear the Lord say the finances are already yours, Sharonda. It's already yours, baby. I hear the Lord say as it is done in heaven. God said, you getting ready to walk that thing out on earth. Oh, my God. He's giving you the fruit of the spirit, baby. And I hear the Lord say, wherever you are right now, just open up your hands and receive it. Because I have come into agreement with you, baby. And it's already done for you. I hear the Lord say, not many days hence. God said, look for the manifestation. Do you understand me? Look for the manifestation. You got to get a spirit of expectation, Sharonda. I hear the Lord say, get a spirit of expectation. God said, I need you to be expecting me to show up for you. I shundable. Expect God to move for you, baby. I don't care how crazy you look in front of these people. You gotta expect God to move. You gotta get up every day looking like where you at, God? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You gotta go out there checking the mailbox. Where it at? Where it at? Cause I know it's coming. Uh-huh. I know it's coming. So I don't know where it's coming from, but I know it's coming, baby. I need you to get on that phone. Uh-huh. Start looking at that phone. Look for that blessing. Cause God said it's coming, baby. In three, two, one. It's coming. Glory be to God.
Ooh, I hear the Lord say, I'm letting the rain fall in your life. Sharonda, I shunned the bullside. God said, I'm letting the rain fall on your life. God said, you been in a drought, baby. But God said, you finna get ready. Ooh, God said, where there was a little bit. God says, getting ready to be overflow. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, overflow. God said, I'm getting ready to overflow in your situation. Oh, my God. I'm getting ready to overflow in your finances. Glory be to God. I'm getting ready to overflow in your relationships, baby. God finna get ready to show himself mighty in your life. Because I have come into agreement with you. God said that's all you needed, baby. You just needed somebody to touch with you on this thing. Oh, my God. I touch with you on this thing, baby. And it's yours. Y'all share this live view and I already shared it, baby. Because God coming into agreement with his people tonight. I'm touching and agreeing with the people of God tonight. I don't play by God, folks. Do you understand me? Drop that in the comments, baby. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Quita Lene, I declare and I decree, baby. I come into agreement with you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. I come into a spiritual agreement with you, baby. I touch and agree. As my big brother Jesus said, uh-huh. He said, if you, if you touch and agree, baby, on anything, because there is power in numbers. God puts so much power on the inside of you, Queen Lene. Share this live. Every single person that's coming into this broadcast, share this live. Tag anybody that the Lord leads you to tag. Start watch parties. Every single person that's coming in, start watch parties. Share this live, baby. Tag. Glory be to God. Because the Lord is moving. Do you understand me? The Lord is coming into agreement with his people tonight. Queen of Lene, the Lord says, I'm coming into agreement with you. Uh-huh. I'm making a covenant with you. Oh, my God. And I hear the Lord say, when I make a promise, oh, my God, the devil can't destroy you, baby. Because God said, when I speak, that's law. That's law. When God speaks, that's law. And I come into agreement with you right now, baby. I touch and agree with you that the Lord shall stabilize you financially. Oh, my God. God is going to stabilize you, baby. I want you to get up with a spirit of expectation, too. God said, get up and look for your blessing. Queen of Lene. I hear the Lord say, get up and command your day, baby. When you get up in the morning, I want you to tell your day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, oh my God, and I will be glad in it. Glory be to God. Get up every day and claim your day, baby. Get up every day and claim your peace. Glory be to God. Claim your breakthrough. Glory be to God. And the Lord says, as you draw closer to him, God said, he shall draw closer to you. Oh my God. And God said, I'm going to do it faster than you. But God said, every step you take, God said, I'm going to take 20. Oh, my God. God said, is you if you show me that you're hungering for me, if you show me that you want me, because the Bible says that those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. The Lord is going to fill you, baby. He's getting ready to fill you right now. I come into agreement with you. I touch and agree with you that the Lord is going to fill you. He's going to fill you right now. Oh, my God. Queen of Lene, the Lord is filling you right now. I don't know where you are, baby, and I don't know who is around you, but I encourage you to step off and get this anointing. Oh, my God. I encourage you to step off, baby, and let God do what he's trying to do in your life. God is filling you right now. I come into agreement with you, baby. God giving you his spirit, and he's doing it for you right now. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know where you are, but the Lord said, I have come to meet you. Oh, my God. God has come to meet you. Queen of Lene, baby, don't think it's a, it's a coincidence that you're on this live. It's not a coincidence. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say nothing just happens. Glory be to God. The Lord says it was ordained that you hear this word. Oh, my God. It was ordained, baby, that you scroll across this live. And God said, I came, baby, to come into an agreement with you. God said, I'm giving you my spirit right now. Uh-huh. God said, I'm wiping your slate clean right now. Oh, my God. And God said, I'm filling you to the overflow. And God said, baby. Baby, everything you've been seeking is getting ready to run you down. Mark my words. Oh, my God. Mark God's words, baby. Because God don't make no void promises. God don't write bad checks. Glory be to God. God said, when I speak, that's law. He don't write bad checks. All God checks clear. Do you understand me? God said it. You better believe it. Glory be to God. But it is done unto you according to your faith. According to your faith. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God is moving. God is moving. God is moving. God is coming into agreement with you. God is coming into agreement with his people right now. Glory be to God.
Kiki, baby, I come into agreement with you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. I come into agreement with you, baby, that the devil got to let you go. Oh, my God. That pressure getting ready to be released off of you. Oh, my God. I come into agreement with you right now, baby. For God said the devil been riding on you. Uh-huh. But God said, baby, he going to break you free on tonight. Oh, my God. Because I have come to agree with you on your situation. Glory be to God. It don't matter where you're at, baby. It don't matter if we ain't touching hands in the natural. Because I hear the Lord say we touching hands in the spirit. And God said, I'm all up in this thing. Oh, my God. God said, I'm in the midst of this, baby. God said, you take your power and you put it with my power. Oh, my God. You take my, your power and put it with my power. And God said, you got that thing. Oh, my God. God said, you got that thing, baby. Because God said, you got some faith. Uh-huh. God said, you got some faith. And God said, people look over you and think that you one of the least ones. Uh-huh. But God said, they didn't know that he put his spirit on the inside of you, baby. Baby, you got God's stamp on the inside of you. I hear the Lord say, Kiki, you got his DNA. Oh, my God. God said, you got spiritual DNA all over you, girl. It's all up in you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's why the devil riding you. Because he know the God that you got on the inside of you, baby. But Kiki, baby, I hear the Lord say, count it all joy. Ooh, count it all joy when you fall in divers' temptations. Oh, my God. Count it all joy, baby. Because the Lord said, I'm moving for you. Uh-huh. God said, I'm and let me tell you something, baby. Don't worry about that pressure. Uh-huh. Because I hear the Lord say, you are a diamond. God said you a diamond, baby. Diamonds are made under pressure. Uh-huh. God said you can take this thing. God said you feel like you can't take it. But I hear the Lord say you're going to take this. Uh-huh. God said you're going to take it. And God said you're going to come out shining brighter than you ever shined before. Because the Lord says you are a diamond, baby. Oh, my God. The devil put you up under that pressure because he thought he was going to break you. But God said I put you under that pressure so I could make you. Oh, my God. God said he making you, baby. He molding you. You are the clay in the potter's hands. Out of that both side. God said I'm molding you. I'm shaping you into a beautiful masterpiece. Oh, my God. God is shaping you into something beautiful, baby. Don't y'all think that y'all trials come to destroy you. They came to make you. God got to put you through the process. God got to prepare you for what you prayed for. He got to prepare you for the blessing. Oh, my God. I, I'm trying to sit in this chair. I'm trying to sit in this chair. Oh, my God. I'm trying to sit in this chair. Oh, my God. But the word of God say, baby, that is just like fire. Oh, my God. It's just like fire. Shut up in your bones. Do you understand me? You can't hold that thing, baby. You'll take off running. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. God is moving. I feel God moving. Do you understand me? I feel God moving. I hear the Lord say, anybody, anybody that can get it on tonight, baby, if you can feel it, mm -hmm, let God do what he want to do in your life. Because God said you feel something. Uh huh. I don't know where you're at and who you are, baby, but I'm talking to every single person under the sound of the, on, under the sound of my voice. You hear something and you feel something. Oh, my God. You feel something down on the inside of you, baby. That ain't no coincidence. That's the spirit of God. Uh huh. You got the spirit on the inside of you, baby. You just done, you just done had a hard life and you done went through a lot of things, but God said his spirit is still within you. That's why the Bible says, I don't care where you go. You can make your bed in hell. You can go into the deepest part of the ocean. The Lord says, baby, you still belong to me. I don't care what you do. I don't care where you go. I don't care what you try to go hide in. God said, I'm going to locate you. Oh, my God. I'm finding you tonight. God said, I'm locating my child tonight. Glory be to God. Every single person under the sound of my voice, the Lord is locating you tonight. Uh-huh. He's locating you, baby. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live. Comment on this live, baby. Say, locate me, God. Ooh, say, locate me. Uh-huh. God said, I got y'all on the spiritual GPS. Oh, my God. God said, I got you on the spiritual GPS, baby. Y'all share this live if you ain't already shared it, baby. Because God getting ready to locate his folks tonight. Glory be to God. He's getting ready to locate his folks tonight, baby. Uh-huh. God said the devil done buried you. He done buried you. And he left you for dead. Oh, my God. But God said, I'm locating you. Oh, my God. God said, I done turned on the spiritual GPS. Oh, my God. He turning on the GPS in heaven, baby. He turning on the GPS. And God sending me. Oh, my God. God done sent me out. I hear the, I hear the spirit of the Lord say, turn right. Oh, glory be to God. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, uh-huh, in two miles, get ready to sl turn slightly to the right. Uh-huh. 
in two miles, get ready to make a detour. Oh my God. The spirit of the Lord said, you got to make a detour because God said, you forgot somebody. Oh my God. God said, woman of God, I need you to make a detour. I need you to go back because you done forgot somebody. God got you on the spiritual GPS, baby. He finding you tonight. Oh my God. He finding you. He locating you, baby. Glory be to God. Janice and sorry, I hear the Lord say he locating you. Oh my God, Janice, the Lord is locating you on tonight. I don't know where you're at, baby, but the spirit of the Lord has sent me to come into agreement with you. Janice, I hear the Lord say you've been praying. Uh huh. God said you've been seeking his face. God said, baby, all you needed was somebody to touch that thing with you. Oh my God, I touch and agree with you right now, Janice. I touch and agree with you that the Lord shall move for you. Uh huh. Y'all share this live if you ain't already shared it, baby, because God is moving on tonight. God is moving for his people, baby. Janice, I declare and I decree, baby, that the Lord is moving for you. He shall move for you. He shall bless you. Oh my God. God is going to put you up in the midst of your enemies, Janice. I hear the Lord say, baby, Janice. Just like David said, baby, I hear the Lord say, I'm preparing a table for you, Janice. Oh, my God. The Lord is preparing a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Let me tell y'all something, baby. God said, when we get in the midst of our enemies, I hear the Lord say, just rest. Uh huh. God said, we want to get all antsy. Uh huh. We want to get all antsy like, Ugh, I just don't fool with them. Oh, I just don't like them. Oh, my God. But I hear the Lord say, baby, you better learn how to kick back. Oh, my God. You better learn how to kick back in the midst of your enemies. Because God said they can't take your life. Oh, my God. God said, baby, you've been having a Job experience. But God told the devil, God said you can do whatever you want to do to him. Uh-huh. He said, go on ahead, baby. The devil told him when he had to put everything he could on Job, baby. He came back and told God. He said, skin for skin. Oh, my God. Somebody come in on this lie, baby. Said, skin for skin. Oh, God, the devil told Oh, God, he says, skin for skin, uh-huh. A man love his body. Oh, my God. Let me touch his body, uh-huh. He had to go get permission from God, baby. He can't touch you. Until... Woo! He can't touch you till he get permission from God. That ought to get somebody happy. He can't lay a finger on you until he get permission from the manufacturer. Oh, my God. Because you're the divine product, baby. You are the divine product, baby. And the divine manufacturer made you. And can't nobody touch you unless they get permission from your manufacturer. I'm preaching this thing. Glory be to God. They got to cut. They got to contact God, baby. They got to contact God. Uh-huh. They got to go through God before they can get to you. Skin for skin. Uh-huh. That's what the devil done told God about some of y'all. He said skin for skin. Uh-huh. She love her body. Let me touch that body. Oh, my God. Let me touch that body. And I bet you I'll make her curse you to your face. Mm. Glory be to God. Skin for skin, uh-huh. Yeah, a man love his life. He love his body. Uh-huh, he love that body. Let me touch that body. Uh-huh. Let me touch that body. I hear the Lord say the devil done made, oh my God. The devil done tried it, baby. Uh-huh. But God said, I gave him permission because God says, I know what I put on the inside of you. And if God ain't worried, baby, why should you? Skin for skin, uh-huh. The devil to put some stuff on you, baby. And then if that ain't enough, he going to put some stuff on you and he going to send some people your way. <clears throat> he going to send some people your way. If that wasn't enough that he make you sick till you feel like you're about to die, he'll send somebody you love. Oh, my God. He'll send somebody you love to speak a word in your life and, and tell you, why don't you just curse God and die? Joe's wife came to him saying, well, why don't you just go ahead and curse God and die? You in the worst situation you ever been in. You don't see God. Oh, my God. You don't see God nowhere in this mess. Won't you go on and curse God and die? Oh, my God. But Joe began to tell her. He said, you speaking like a foolish woman. Oh, my God. In other words, woman, you crazy. Glory be to God. Woman, you crazy. I ain't finna give up on God because God will never give up on me. Oh, my God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, you must be crazy. I ain't finna give up on God. I don't care what it look like. Don't you give up on God. I don't care what it look like. I don't care what it smell like. God said, some of y'all in some stinking situation. I don't care what it smell like in there. I don't care what it feel like. Oh, my God. I don't care what the doctor said. Don't you give up on God. Glory be to God. You better press. Ooh, tell the folk, baby. I don't care you got to tell the doctor. I don't care you got to tell the judge. Say, your honor, with all due respect, you must be crazy. Oh, my God. You must be crazy. You talking like a foolish person. I won't curse God. I'll never give up on God. Because he'll never give up on me, baby. When I was in my mess, when I didn't love myself, God loved me. 
He loved me, baby. When I didn't even love myself, I never give up on him. God is sending the spiritual GPS. I got directions from the kingdom. God told me to do a detour and go back and pick. Go, God said, go back and pick up a few folks. Go back and pick up a few folks. And God said, when you pick them up, I need you to go five miles up the road. When you go five miles up the road, I hear the Lord say, I need you to keep left. Oh my God. Y'all know when the GPS say keep left, that means you ain't got to make no left turn. That means that the road is getting ready to split a little bit. Oh my God. It getting ready to split a little bit, baby. So you don't need to make, you got to, you, let me tell you, when, when God sees you, you got to go. Oh my God. God told me, God said in five miles, you're going to turn, you're going you gonna to keep left. Uh-huh. Just keep left. You gonna want to go this way. Oh my God. Somebody drop that in the comment. Baby said keep left. Ooh, keep left. Y'all know when the GPS say keep left. Glory be to God. Keep left. Oh my God. Somebody done went the wrong way, baby. But I hear the Lord say, don't worry, keep left. God said he's getting ready to reroute you. Edit it, boy. I hear the Lord say, I'm rerouting you, baby. God said you done fell into the worst situation you could have ever fell in. God said you done messed around and turned on the wrong road. You don't know how in the world you got down here. But I hear the Lord say, I'm locating you tonight. I'm sending the spiritual GPS. God said I'm getting ready to reroute you. Y'all know when you turn it on the wrong way, it said rerouting. Ooh. Oh my God. God rerouting you, baby. He's rerouting you. Glory be to God. Because I have come into agreement with you. I have come into agreement with you. I have come into agreement with you, baby. Oh, yes. God is going to move for you. God is going to change your situation. Every single person that dropped a comment in this comment section. Every single person that shared this live, every single person, glory be to God. You thought you was just doing something. You weren't just doing something, baby. When you come in and tune into the live, when you come in on the live, when you share the live, when you do everything you can to get the word of God out there, you just allow God to locate you. God is locating you, baby. He can't locate you if you sit there and don't say nothing. If you sit there and don't say nothing, how somebody going to find you? How the rescue team going to find you if you don't say nothing? Y'all seen Titanic? She had a choice. She had a choice. When she was laying on that, on that float, I think it was like a door she was laying on. When she was laying on that, she had a choice to make. She could have either laid down and died and froze to death, or she could have broke free. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say break free. She could have broke free. Her name was Rose. <laughs> Y'all know that's one of my most, that's one of my favorite movies. I love that part when he said, you so stupid, Rose. <laughs> you so stupid. You so stupid, Rose. <laughs> when she left her rich, her rich fiance and she went back to go get him, he told her, he said, you so stupid. You so stupid, Rose. <laughs> that's what the enemy's saying about y'all because y'all done went back to God. Uh-huh. The enemy's telling you, you so stupid. Oh, you so stupid. You done went back to God. You, done, you so stupid. I hear the Lord say there's a decision that must be made. You got to make a decision. You got to make a decision because the Lord is coming into agreement with you. And you got to make a decision, baby. Now, you can lay down where you're at and you can die or you can get up and break free and live. She had to get off of that float and she had to get down in that cold water and she was freezing. She was at the point to, of death. And God says some of y'all are at the point of death, baby. She was at the point of death, but she had to make up in her mind, I'm not going to die here. I'm finna get up and live. Oh, my God. She got down in that cold water and pressed her way. Oh, my God. She pressed her way, baby. Took the whistle out of a dead man's mouth. Do you understand me? God said, y'all going to have to go snatch y'all blessing out the hands of these folk. These folk got y'all blessing in their hands, and God said, it don't even belong to them. God said, I done spoke to you. I done told you to go get your stuff. What are you waiting on? Snatch it out their hand, baby. They ain't going to give it to you. You got to snatch it. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, baby. But the violent got to take it by force. I hear the Lord said, take your stuff by force. How do I take it, Toy? You got to get in prayer. You got to get in beast mode. You got to take off. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Say, hashtag beast mode. We don't run from the storms of life. We're eagles. And when the eagles see the storm, they take off. Comment on this live, baby. Say hashtag beast mode. And after you say that, comment, baby. Say hashtag take off. Because we take off. We go get our stuff. Oh, the devil got it. That's all right because I'm going to get it. Oh, my God. I'm 
I'm going to get it. I'm snatching it out of his mouth. Oh, my God. He done got all cozy with your stuff. But I hear the Lord say, you better kick it in beast mode. And you better go get what I promised you. God said, you sitting there waiting on him to give it to you. You sitting there waiting on it to fall in your lap. And you're never going to have it. You're never going to have it. I hear the Lord say, kick it in beast mode. You better take off. You better take off. And God said, don't you be afraid because I have given you my spirit. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, I have not given you the spirit of fear. Oh, my God. I have given you the spirit of love, of peace, and a sound mind. You better go get that stuff, baby. Oh, my God. You better go get that stuff. Ooh, you better go get it. She snatched that whistle out the dead man, my baby, and she blew that thing. Oh, my God. She ain't have but a little bit of strength, baby, but she blew that whistle, honey. And when she began to blow that whistle, baby, oh, my God. When she began to blow that whistle, the man looked back with the flashlight. Oh, my God. He located her. He, But he could only locate her because she had to get up and do something. Y'all ain't hearing me in here tonight. She had to get up and do something, baby. She was at the point of death, but she had to make a decision. She had to make a decision. If she would have laid down and not said nothing. God said, y'all looking at everybody else. Y'all worry about what folk, what folk going to say. What folk going to say if I if I holler. What they going to say. You Don't don't you worry about what they going to say. You better. God is coming through on the rescue boat. He coming through on the rescue boat. And you sitting out there looking around. Them folk were dead, honey. Everybody out there with her were dead. She was one of the only ones that was still living. God said, y'all sitting around looking at folk worried about what these folk going to say. These folk dead in the spirit. God ain't with them. God been left them a long time ago. God ain't in nothing they doing. And you sitting there worried about what they going to say about you. Forget them folks. Come in on this live, baby. Say, forget them folks. I'm finna go get what God promised me. I ain't finna lay here and die. I don't care if I got to snatch it out of dead man mouth. I'm finna get, I'm finna get what God promised me. She blew that whistle, baby. Ooh, she was blowing that whistle. I'm talking about the movie Titanic, baby. I'm talking about Rose uh, in Titanic. She blew that whistle, baby. She kept blowing it too. She ain't stopped blowing until they located her. And I hear the Lord say, baby, Jesus of Nazareth. Oh my God. He coming through your land. Do you understand me? I see God on the boat. Uh-huh. God said you're out there in the sea. The devil done left you for dead. Oh my God. He done whipped you so bad. He done burnt you up. You ain't got nothing left. But God said, I'm getting ready to rise you up from the ashes, baby. But God said, I need you to do something. It going to take some work on your part. God said, I need you to holler out, baby. You got to cry out. Ooh, you got to cry out. You got to get up. I know it feel comfortable where you at. But I told y'all that comfort zone is a cemetery. If you don't move out of that comfort, you're going to die there. You're going to die right there, baby. You got to move. I know it feel good all up in there. You don't want to move, but you got to move, baby. Because there is no growth in your comfort zone. You got to move. You got to push yourself. That's right, baby. Forget them folks. Forget them folks. You better be like Roll, baby. Ooh, when she got down in that water, that water was so cold. She, uh, 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 that almost killed her. When she got down in that water, it was, she was already cold. Then she had to get down in the water. The water was freezing. I hear the Lord say, baby, y'all already about to, y'all about to give out. And God said, when y'all get out and try to reach out to him, it get worse. Oh, my God. Who am I talking to, baby? Who am I talking to? You in a mess. But it seemed like before it got better, it got worse. Oh, my God. Who am I talking to? It got worse before it got better. Uh-huh. You know why it got worse? Because you made up in your mind that you were going to make it. Oh, my God. You made up in your mind that you were going to get there. And the devil know that you made up in your mind, baby. So he sent the storm to try to make you stay. Uh-huh. He sent them trials and tribulations to try to make you stay. But, baby, even though that water was cold and she could barely make it, she kept going, baby. She kept going. So she swam over there and got that whistle. And she had to muster up the strength. She didn't have but a little bit of strength. God said, the devil going to beat you so bad, you ain't got but a little bit of strength. Oh, my God. But I come into agreement with every single person under the sound of my voice. I shunned up side. I came with the power, baby. It takes some power. Do you understand me? It going to take some power to free y'all. Uh-huh. The devil think ain't nobody got no power in this generation. Uh-huh. He think we been left in the ashes, baby. Oh, no, baby. God done arose a new generation. Uh-huh. I came from the ashes. Oh, my God. I came from the ashes, and I came with the power. Oh, my God. I got some power with me, baby, and I came to come in agreement with y'all tonight. Glory be to God. I came to come in agreement with my foe. Y'all gonna get y'all stuff. I can guarantee you, baby. You gonna get your stuff. 
Glory be to God. You're going to get it. If I got anything to say about it, you're going to get what God promised you. Glory be to God. By any righteous means necessary. Uh-huh. Because we don't just bow down to the devil. We don't do whatever for stuff. We ain't finna just do anything. But we're going to do it by any righteous means necessary. Uh-huh. Righteous. David said, I have been young and now I am old. Oh, my God. Yet never have I seen the righteous forsaken. Oh, my God. Never have I seen the right. I feel God moving. I shundle both I, I feel the ooh, I feel the spirit of God moving all through my body. Do you understand me? If I was on the stage, baby, they'd have to send somebody to go catch me because I'd be running. Oh my God. I hear the Lord say, baby, you righteous. Uh-huh. God said you righteous not by nothing that you did, but because I sent my son to die. Oh my God. Because my son died on the cross for your sins. Uh-huh. He took on everything that you were going to do. And God said that made you righteous in my eyesight. God said you are the righteousness of God, baby. Glory be to God. You are the righteousness of God. That's right, baby. You righteous. Oh, my God. Tamika S. Williams. I hear the Lord say you righteous. Oh, my God. You are righteous in my eyesight. Uh-huh. Tamika S. Williams, baby. I hear the Lord say whatever you put forth your hands to do in this season, the Lord said I shall bless it. Oh, my God. Woman of God. I hear the Lord say I shall bless it. Tamika Williams. God said whatever you put forth your hands to do. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. God said, I'm going to bless that thing. Oh, my God. God said, you attempted to do some things before, and it didn't work out the way you wanted to work out. But I hear the Lord say, it's going to work out now because you got me. Oh, my God. God said, you got me. He told me the same thing, baby. God said, you done attempted to do some stuff, and that stuff, you fell dead on your face. You didn't make it. But God said, you didn't make it because you were trying to do it without me. But God said, now you got me. God said, go back and do it again. Oh, my God. I don't know what the Lord talking about, Tamika, but I hear the Lord say, go back and do it again. And God said, this time, you're going to prosper. Uh-huh. God said, this time, he going to Blow you up from the flow up. And can't no devil in hell stop it. Oh my God. Because God said woman of God. Tamika S. Williams. God said whatever you put forth your hand to do. He's going to bless it. He's going to bless it. I hear the Lord say Tamika. I'm going to bless all the works of your hand. The Lord is going to bless baby. If you can put your hands on it. It's going to be blessed. I hear the Lord say go lay hands on your children. Oh my God. Just touch them baby. They might not know what you're doing. But just lay hands on them. For the Lord has anointed your hands. Oh my God. I hear the Lord say lay hands on your husband. Uh huh. God said just lay hands. Hand, baby, I shown the both side. And God said, by your obedience, God's going to move through them. Oh, my God. He's going to move for you, baby. Oh, my God. I feel God doing it right now. God said, I'm doing it right now for you, baby. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, I have found favor in you, Tamika. Uh-huh. God says, I have found favor in you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. And I touch and agree with you, baby, that everything that the Lord has spoken over you can't no devil in hell stop it. It's yours. And God says it was yours before the foundation of the world. It is yours. It is done for you tonight. God did it right now. It don't take God three and five and ten years to do what he want to do. God said, I'll do it right now. God said, all I need to do, all I need you to do is come into agreement with somebody. When you come into agreement, God said, I move right then. Y'all didn't know. When you come into agreement with somebody in the faith, baby, God will move for you right then. God will do that thing so quick, it'll blow your wig off. Oh, my God. God told me better hold that hell down, baby, because I'm finna move so quick for these folks. It going to blow their wigs off. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. God is moving. He's moving. Mm. Glory be to God. And he's locating you. He's locating you. He's locating y'all tonight. God is coming into agreement with you tonight. Every single person that dropped a comment on this live. Every single person that dropped a comment before God. God is coming into agreement with you. Oh, baby, not many days hence. Do you understand me? Annette Taylor, I come into agreement with you right now for your son. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. I speak to those breathing problems right now in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. Annette Taylor. Mm. Glory be to God. I come into a spiritual agreement with you right now, woman of God. Uh-huh. Lay hands on your child. Mm. I hear the Lord say, lay hands. Mm -hmm. 
God said, it's within you. God said, you've been seeking. Mm. You've been seeking for somebody else to do this thing for you. Oh, God. You've been seeking for somebody else to work this thing for you. But I hear the Lord say, it is within you. Annette, glory be to God. God said, you got the power within you to lay hands on the sick. Oh, my God. You're going to lay hands on the sick, baby, and the sick shall recover. Lay hands on your son, Annette. Oh, my God. I speak to that breathing problem right now in the name of Jesus. I come into agreement with you right now, baby, that his respiratory system, his lungs, everything in his body shall line up with the word of God. It's going to line up, baby, and it's doing it right now. According to your faith, so be it unto you. I hear the Lord say, baby, all you got to say, God, you ain't even got to come by here. Just speak the word. Oh, my God. Just speak the word, baby. That's what the man told Jesus. He said, you ain't even got to come to the house. Just speak the word and my servant going to be healed just by you speaking the word. Baby, I hear the Lord say, I ain't even got to come nowhere where you at just by me speaking the word. God said he going to heal your baby. Oh, my God. He's going to heal him. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Lay hands, baby. Because God said when you lay hands on him, God said that going to seal the deal. Uh-huh. That going to seal the deal. That's sealing the deal, Annette. Lay hands on him. Because I done spoke to that breathing problem. And it's done with. It's done with. I hear the Lord say they ain't going to be able to find it. Oh, my God. They ain't going to be able to find it. Do you understand me? The treatment that they done gave him, God said he ain't going to be on it long. Oh, my God. He ain't going to be on it long, baby. Because the Lord has come into an agreement with you, Annette. He has made a covenant with you. And I hear the Lord say, go and sin no more. Uh-huh. For the Lord said, I done healed everything in your house. And I hear the Lord say, go and sin no more. And it is done unto you according to your faith. Glory be to God. God is locating his people. He locating his people. The devil done buried y'all, but God is locating you. He's locating you. God done sent the spiritual GPS and, the devil, and God is locating you. The devil don't want him to, baby. Ooh, he's trying to make you shut your mouth. Do you understand me? The enemy wants to shut your mouth, baby. He knew long as I kept my mouth shut. He knew that he had me. Oh, my God. He knew that I couldn't affect, I couldn't impact nobody's life as long as I kept my mouth shut. But God knew, baby, when I opened up my mouth. Oh, my God. When I open up my mouth, God said, look at the lives that's being changed. Oh, my God. And God said, you ain't seen nothing yet, baby. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, my God. Somebody come in on this lie, baby. D these folk can't even stand to see what God doing in y'all life right now. But you better tell the devil, baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, my God. You ain't seen nothing yet, baby. Come when God move, baby. When you see that situation, you're going to say that ain't nobody but God. Nobody but God. Couldn't nobody had done that but God. Y'all knew them folk before and how they was. You're going to look at them and say that wasn't nobody but God. Glory be to God. Nobody but God. God can do it. God can do it. And I hear the Lord say, is there anything too hard for me? Oh, my God. Deborah Brockington. Oh, my God. Deborah Brockington. I send a spiritual missile to Philadelphia on tonight. Oh, my God. Yes, baby. The Lord has located you. Glory be to God. I send the spiritual missile to Philadelphia on tonight. Glory be to God. And I declare and I decree that when it hit Philadelphia, it's going to tear it up. It's going to tear it up. In the name of Jesus, it's going to tear it up. I come into agreement with you right now, Deborah. Oh, my God. I come into agreement with you. There are some things that you have been going to God about. And God said it ain't happened for you. Uh-huh. God said it's still circling around in the air. Uh-huh. But God said this thing finna get rid of the land in your life. It's getting ready to land in your life, Deborah. I see the plane coming in. Ah, glory be to God. I see the plane getting ready to land, baby. God said it getting ready to come in. Uh huh. God said you done cleared the runway, baby, and it's getting ready to come in. Your plane is landing. Deborah, I want you to drop that in the comments, baby, because when you say that, you just seal the deal. And I want you to say it by faith. I want you to drop that in the comments, baby. I done sent the spiritual missile all the way to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on tonight. And I have come into agreement with you, Deborah. And I want you to come in on this live, baby. Come in on this live. Glory be to God. Seal the deal with your stuff. Let the devil know it's already done. Glory be to God. And when he come back your way, baby, kill him with the word. Oh, my God. Fight the devil with the word, because the word is the sword. 
Oh my God. Somebody put that in the comments. The word is the sword. The word is the sword of the spirit. That's what you fight with, baby. That's how you cut the devil. You cut him with the sword. You cut him with the word of God. Uh huh. When he come up on you and tell you, you ain't nothing. You ain't nobody. You tell him my God said that I am more than a conqueror. Oh my God. He said that I am a lender and not a borrower. Tell him what your daddy said. Glory be to God. God said he made me in his image and in his likeness. And God don't make no junk. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, my God. When the devil start beating on y'all with y'all insecurities, uh-huh, with your insecurities, tell the devil, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Cut him with the sword of the spirits. Anita Burke, I send the prayer missile to Dallas, Texas on tonight's glory be to God. Anita, I'm sending the prayer missile to Dallas, Texas on tonight, baby. I'm coming into agreement with you right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been seeking God for, is yours on tonight because the prayer missile is hidden in Dallas, Texas. I send it to Dallas right now, baby. And I hear the Lord say, if in the hit, in three, two, one, it's gonna hit. And it's hitting right now. Oh, my God. God said, you feel this thing, too. Uh-huh. God said, you feel this thing. God been transforming you since you been on this live. God said, you done felt him moving. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, don't fight it, baby. Go with it. Go with it. Don't fight it. Mm. Don't fight it. Because I done sent that missile. And it's coming to Dallas, Texas. And God said, when it hit, baby, it's gonna tear it up. It gonna tear it up. God said when that missile hit in Dallas, it's going to break the back of the enemy. God is going to destroy your enemies. He's going to, God, I hear the Lord say, I'm going to drown them. Oh my God. God said, I'm going to drown them. God said, I'm going to eradicate them folks. God said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And God said, as I was with the children of Israel, so shall I be with you. Oh my God. So shall I be with you, baby. Because I done came into agreement with you, baby. And I done sent the missile to Dallas, Texas on tonight. Glory be to God. Carla Cowens. Oh, my God. Carla Cowens. Don't worry, baby. I hear the Lord say, I have located you in the spirit. Uh-huh. I'm sending a missile to Jackson, Mississippi to you, Carla. Oh, my God. Baby, wherever you're at right now, the Lord is showing me you. I ain't never met you. I don't know you in the natural, but the Lord is showing me you in the spirit. Oh, my God. God said, lift your hands. Receive this anointing. Receive this blessing. I hear the Lord say, I'm sending it to you right now, baby. God said it was anointed and it was ordained before the foundation of the world. Carla, oh, my God. To Jackson, Mississippi, I send the missile and I come into agreement with you, woman of God. I come into agreement with you. Uh-huh. That the Lord shall move for you not many days hence. Oh, my God. You shall have a testimony. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. I hear you saying nobody but God. Oh, my God. Carla, I hear you in the spirit. You saying nobody but God. I see tears falling down your face. Oh, my God. And I see you shouting out the goodness of God in the land of the living. Oh, my God. Carla, I see you telling people, baby, it wasn't nobody but God. Oh, my God. It was nobody but God. Nobody but God. Only God can bless you like that. Carla Cowens, baby, in Jackson, Mississippi, I hear the Lord say supernatural blessing. Ooh, I hear the Lord say supernatural. Do you understand me? God said, I'm getting ready to do a miracle. God said, I'm getting ready to do the miraculous. I'm getting ready to do what they said couldn't be done in your life, woman of God. Because the Lord has located you. I shone the both sides. Renee Malone, the Lord has located you in Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, my God. I send a prayer missile to Madison, Wisconsin right now in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. It's coming to Wisconsin right now. Oh, my God. Baby, whatever you've been praying to God for, I come into agreement with you. I hear the Lord say I'm in the midst of your situation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. Renee, I hear the Lord say. He is in the midst of your situation. He's in the midst of it. God said, what you been in, it looked like he ain't in there. But God said, I was in there, baby. Ooh, God said, I was in there for you ever even got in there. God was already in that situation. God was already in the furnace, baby. He was waiting on you. He was waiting on you. Now, I send this missile to Wisconsin right now to locate you in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that when this missile hit Wisconsin, baby, it's coming to your door. Oh, my God. It's coming to your door. Wherever you are right now, baby, open up your hands in a receiving motion. I hear the Lord say, open up your hands in a receiving motion and receive this blessing that I have for you. Oh my 
God. The Lord done sent me to come into agreement with you, baby. God said, open up your hands and receive. I shone up both sides. And I hear the Lord say, as you open up your hand, God said, I'm anointing your hands. Go be to God. He's not anointing them with a physical oil. Uh-uh. God said, I'm anointing your hands with the divine oil from on high. God, hold your hands out, baby, and let God give you this anointing. Only God can give you this anointing. And God said, when I give it to you, uh-huh, when I bless you, no man can curse you. Editable side. When God bless you, baby, can't nobody curse you. When God got his hand on your life, baby, the devil can't do nothing about it. Because I done sent the missile to Wisconsin tonight, baby, and the Lord has located you. And I come into agreement with you, and you shall have a testimony. Oh my God, I hear the Lord say 30 days. Uh-huh. I hear the Lord say 30 days. You shall have a testimony. Contact me, locate me, find me, inbox me in 30 days because I want to hear what the Lord did for you, baby. Glory be to God. He's moving for you. He's moving for you. I declare it by faith. I speak it by faith. I speak it by the anointing. I speak it by the power of God that he has put on the inside of me. I speak this thing and I declare in the face of the devil that the Lord shall move for you in 30 days. Mm-hmm. Supernatural blessing in 30 days. Glory be to God. God opened the door, can't no man shed it. Glory be to God. God is locating his people. He's locating his people. He got y'all on the GPS. He got y'all on the GPS. I hear the Lord say, detour. Let me go back. I show no I hear the Lord say, detour, woman of God. You missed something. Go back. Go back. Glory be to God. Carice Williams in Carrollton, Georgia. <coughs> Glory be to God. Carice Williams in Carrollton, Georgia. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. The Lord is locating you, Carice. Uh-huh. He's locating you. He's locating you right now. I come into agreement with you. I come into a spiritual agreement with you right now, Carice. That the Lord shall move for you. Mm-hmm. The Lord shall move for you. The Lord is contending with the ones that's contending with you. Mm-hmm. The Lord is contending with the ones that are contending with you, Carice. I hear the Lord say, give it to me. Give it to me. What you've been running with, give it to me. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, give it to him right now. I send a prayer missile to Carrollton, Georgia right now to locate you. Let me tell you something, baby. Carice, the Lord says when he shoot, he don't miss. God don't miss. God don't miss. And God said, I'm shooting in your situation right now. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say the enemy done thrown you in the furnace. Oh, my God. The enemy has thrown you in the furnace, Carice. But I hear the Lord say, baby, I'm getting ready to send my spirit to locate you. And God said, I'm coming in that thing with you, and I shall deliver you. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, baby, count it all joy that the devil done threw you in the furnace. So God said he going to be with you just like he was with the three Hebrew boys. The only thing that's going to burn on you is the chains that the devil had binding you. Glory be to God. God said a storm been raging in your life, baby. But God said that this storm is coming to blow everything off of you that ain't meant to be there. But God said it shall not destroy you. Oh, my God. The storm didn't come to destroy you, Carice. God said it came to make you. Oh, my God. The Lord says you are an eagle, Carice Williams. I'm sending a prayer missile to Carrollton, Georgia right now to locate you, baby. The Lord says I got an eagle in Carrollton, Georgia. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say I got an eagle over there in Carrollton, Georgia. I need you to speak to that eagle, woman of God. The Lord says you are an eagle. And I hear the Lord say, Carice, stretch, stretch out your wings of faith. Oh, my God. God says, stretch out the wings of faith. And God said, lock in, baby, and just glide. Oh, my God. Just glide, baby. I hear the Lord say, kick it in beast mode. Take off. Stretch out the wings and just glide. Because you are an eagle, baby. And eagles don't run from the storms of life. Eagles run into the storm. And they use the winds of the storm to push them higher. Oh, my God. Carice Williams, I hear the Lord say the devil got you in the eye of the storm. Oh, my God. He got you right there in the middle of it, baby. He's in the, He got you in the eye of the storm, and he thinking that he going to destroy you. But I hear the Lord say, <clears throat> glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, baby, 
Y'all know right there in the eye. Oh my God. The eye of the storm is the calmest place. Glory be to God. The eye of the storm is the calmest place in the storm. It's quiet because all of the winds, y'all don't hear me. All of the winds, they circling around so fast, baby. But it's one little place in the middle of the storm where there is no wind. Oh, my God. Because the wind be moving so fast, it's got a small, it's got a circle in the middle of it. The weather people call it the eye. Oh, my God. It's the eye of the storm. Do you understand me? They say that if you get in the eye, y'all don't hear me. If you get in the eye of the storm and if you keep moving, because y'all know the eye of the storm, this ain't nobody but the spirit of God that revealing this thing unto me right now. Oh my God. God said, Carice Williams, baby, I need you to get in the eye of the storm. And God said, y'all know anything about a hurricane when it moves, it continue to move. It don't never stay still. When they locate it on the radar, it be steady moving. Oh my God. The eye of the storm, baby. God said, he got you, Carice. You in the eye of the storm. And God said, baby, every time, everything you looking at around you is hell. It's chaos. The winds are blowing in your life. Glory be to God. But God said, baby, keep on moving. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, as the storm move, you move. Uh-huh. Because God said, you got to stay in the eye. That's where it's calm. Man. Even though all hell is breaking loose around you, you stay in the eye of the storm where it's calm. Uh-huh. I hear the Lord say he's going to calm that storm for you, baby, because you are an eagle. He's going to use that storm. He's going to use the winds of that storm to blow you higher. It's going to push you so high, baby. You're going to look around after a while. The storm going to still be going on, but it's going to be going on underneath you. That's just how high God getting ready to elevate you, baby. Glory be to God, because the Lord says that you are an eagle. And I send the spiritual missile to Carrollton, Georgia right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord shall locate you and I come into agreement with you. I touch and agree with you, woman of God. I touch and agree with you. Glory be to God. God is going to do it. Do you understand me? Stay in the eye of the storm. I don't care how, I don't care if all hell breaking loose. When that storm move, you better move. Stay in the eye. Stay in the eye. That's the calmest place of the storm. They say if you stay in the eye of the storm, you could be right smack dab in the middle of a hurricane and it won't hurt you. It won't harm you. But you got to stay in the eye of the storm. Oh, my God. The wind blowing so fast, baby. It blows in, it, it's blowing in a circular motion in the hurricane. The winds are blowing in a circular motion and they blowing so fast that it's a certain place in the middle of that wind where it's all calm. There's nothing there. Everything is calm. There's no wind. Everything is going on around the eye. But if you can get in the eye, ooh, somebody come in on this live, baby. So I got to get to the eye of this storm. I'm all out here in the wind letting the devil blow me this way and blow me that way. But I hear the Lord say, come into the eye of the storm. Oh, my God. Only the strong can come into the eye of the storm, baby. Because God said, y'all think it's a bad thing to be in the eye of the storm. But I hear the Lord say, you are an eagle. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say, beast mode. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, take off, baby. You better go straight to the eye of that storm. And you better stretch out the wings of faith. You better lock in, baby. Clank, clank, lock down. You better lock in on your faith. And you better just glide. Ooh. Just glide, baby. Get in the eye of the storm and just glide. Woo. And after a while, baby, that storm going to pass on by. Oh, my God. It's going to pass on by because it didn't come to destroy you. It came to push you higher. Woo. It came to push you higher, baby. It can't take your life. Jesus said, no man can take my life. I lay it down. Stop getting upset about what the devil throw at y'all. He can't take your life. Glory be to God. I'm getting ready to let y'all go. I got to let this thing go. Because I go all night with it. Do you understand me? I go all night with it now. So y'all gone on now. <laughs> y'all gone on now because I go all night with this thing. Glory be to God. Gone on now because I've been a winner. <laughs> I've been a winner all night. Y'all gone on. Glory be to God. Mm. God is locating his people. Whew. Let me pull this car back on in the driveway. Let me park it for a minute. Let me park it. 
Let me park it. I told y'all, y'all better go now. Because I preach this thing all night. I preach it till my phone go out. Do you hear me? God is, God is awesome. God is amazing. God is moving. God is locating y'all. God is moving in y'all situations. God is coming into agreement with y'all. God done made some covenants with y'all. God done came into some agreements with y'all. And God has told y'all that I'm finna bless you. Ooh, I'm finna bless you. God said, I'm going to bless you like I blessed Abraham. Do you understand me? And the Lord says that when I bless you, some of y'all worry about, did this come from God? Is this from God? Is this from the devil? Well, let me tell you how you know the difference, baby. You know if God sent you something. You know if God sent you something. Because God said, when I bless you, no man can curse you. Oh, my God. When God bless you, baby, God said, I bless you for generations. Uh huh. God said, I bless your children. Oh, my God. God said, I not only bless you. Oh, no, baby. I bless your children. Oh, my God. I bless your auntie and them. Uh huh. I bless your daddy and them. I bless your mama and them. Oh, my God. God said, when I bless you, baby, I bless your whole community. God said, I bless you so good. I bless you to your overflow. I bless you till you bless the schools. I bless you till you bless the jail houses. God said I bless you. But God said I can't let my blessing fall on anybody because God said I need a good manager. God said I need somebody that going to manage this thing. I need somebody that when I bless them they going to bless my people. Oh my God. That's how God bless you, baby. God said, I don't, get, I don't give out them little penny any blessings, baby. God said, I bless in the millions. Do you understand me? I bless you for generation. God said, children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, your great-great-grandchildren that you never got a chance to see, God said, them children still going to be spinning off of what I bless you. Oh, my God. But God said, I got a legacy for you. Somebody come in on this live, baby, say legacy. Oh, my God. God got a legacy for you, baby. God wants to come into agreement with y'all tonight. God want to make a covenant with y'all tonight. And when you come into agreement, I see the Lord. Oh, my God. I see him rebuking the devourer. Y'all worry about this virus and all this stuff. You better get in agreement with God. Because God said, when I come into a covenant with you, God said, no man can curse you. Because what God spoke is law. And it's got to come to pass. Can't nothing happen to you because it's got to come to pass because God spoke it. Glory be to God. You better get an agreement with God. Y'all better accept this agreement. Comment on this live, baby. Say, I accept the agreement. I accept the agreement. The Lord wants to come into a covenant with you. He wants to protect you from everything that's going on in this world. But God said, I need you to come into an agreement with me. Enter into the agreement with me. Sign the contract. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, I'm giving you the divine contract. Now, you got to sign this thing. And you can only sign it by faith. Oh, my God. You can only sign this thing by faith. I told y'all y'all better go on because I'm going to go all night now. I'm going to go all night. You better go on. Oh, my God. God giving you the pen. He wants you to sign the contract. Sign this thing. And God said, when you sign it, I'm going to bless you. Oh, God said, I'm going to bless you. Ooh, baby. Yeah, y'all ain't get. We ain't gotten. We ain't never. We we done got blessed before. But God said this stuff. I'm finna get ready to let fall on y'all. God said y'all ain't never seen nothing like this, baby. That what he told me. God said you ain't never seen nothing like this. God said it's gonna shake. Ooh, God said it gonna shake the foundation. It gonna shake the gates of hell when I bless you. God said when I let this thing fall on you, baby. Woo we. Somebody put that in the comment, baby. Say woo we. Ooh. Say woo we. God finna bless me so good, baby. It gonna shake the gates of hell. Come in on this live, baby. Say, woo we, Woo we. Tell the devil. Say, woo we. God finna bless me. Ooh. He finna bless me so good, baby. I can't, I can't do nothing but say, woo we. God done came into an agreement with me. God done made a covenant with me. Baby, you better consider yourself blessed and highly favored. If the Lord wants to make an agreement with you, you better consider yourself blessed. Because God don't just make an agreement with just anybody. He don't make an agreement with just anybody. When God come into agreement with you, God bless you. He bless your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. God said you won't be able to spin to the bottom of this check that I'm getting ready to give you. But you got to come into an agreement with me. You got to come into this covenant with me. Woo-wee. That's right, baby. Put that in the comments. Say, woo-wee, God finna bless me. Woo-wee. God said, y'all feel that too. I know y'all feel that. I know you feel that, baby. To those of y'all that ain't sensitive to the spirit, that little tingly feeling that you got down in your belly. Oh my God. That little tingly feeling that just won't let you click off this live. That's the spirit of God. Oh my God. 
come in on this live, baby. Say, woo we, uh huh, woo we, cause God is doing something to y'all. He doing something in this generation. That's why God sent me, cause God said y'all had them put the gospel in old folks. Y'all thought the gospel was all about old folks. No, baby, I came to kick it up in this generation. Do you understand me? I came to tell my generation it's time to blow God up, baby. It's time to kick this thing in beast mode. It's time to take off for God. Woo we. Now what's up? I hear the Lord say the kingdom of heaven is here. Now what's up? What you gonna do? What's up? Somebody comment on this line. Say the kingdom is here. So what's up? I hear the Lord say what's up, baby? What you gonna do? God said I came to give you life. Oh my God. I came to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. I came to bring you the kingdom. So what's up? What you gonna do? You gonna barbecue a meal, do? What you gonna do? You gonna keep letting the devil beat you? Or you gonna get up and live? Oh my God. What you gonna do, baby? God done get, he done left all this abundance for you. He done left all this prosperity for you. And you gonna sit here and let the devil strip you of your blessing. Oh my God. You gonna die in all of this blessing that all these promises that God done gave you. You gonna be just like the children of Israel and you gonna die. And your children gonna have to pick up the baton and finish the work that you ain't have enough faith to do. I refuse to leave my work for my children. Do you understand me? My children are going to reap the benefits of my work, baby. They ain't going to have to get it out the mud like mama had to get it out the mud. Because mama getting it out the mud for them right now. Oh, my God. And I ain't talking about no money, baby. I'm talking about the kingdom. I'm getting the kingdom. I'm giving them the kingdom. Because that's going to take them on into the next generation, baby. That's going to take care of them when I ain't here to take care of them no more. God said, I'm going to bless you. And God said, I'm going to, ooh, God said, I'm going to watch over your seed. Do you understand me? I know y'all feel that. I know y'all feel the power of God. If you don't feel that, baby, put your location. Because I'm finna come lay hands on you. Because God said, he blessing y'all tonight. He blessing you. Woo wee. Comment that in the comment, baby. Say, woo wee. Ooh, we, I'm preaching this thing. Say, woo, we, baby, because God bless me. Ooh, God bless me so good, baby. God gonna bless me all in. It gonna flow all over into my children. Oh, my God. God, so you thought that it was a bad thing because you had them babies and you couldn't take care of them. But God said, I put you through the fire, baby, because I'm finna get ready to bless y'all. Oh, my God. God said he finna bless y'all, baby. Everybody that done walked off and left you and your children, I hear the Lord say, don't you worry, baby, because God said everybody that turned their back on you, they gonna turn around. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say they're going to turn around and they're going to acknowledge you as queen. Oh, my God. They're going to acknowledge you as king, baby. They're going to say, surely God must be with her. Oh, my God. Surely God must be with him because couldn't nobody have done that but God. God. God said people are getting ready to look at your life and they're going to glorify your father, which is in heaven, baby. And that's the way we're supposed to live. We're supposed to let God use us so to God, people... People look at our life and they say, that ain't nobody but God. There must be a God. Who is this God that you serve? Oh, my God. Who is this God that you serve and that you worship, baby? I must know more about the kingdom of God. I must know what I must do to be saved. That's the kind of life we got to live because we are ambassadors for Christ. We are representatives of the kingdom of God. Do you understand me? When people see the kingdom, when they see our lifestyle, they're supposed to look at what we got and desire what we got. Oh, my God. When we preach and we minister to them about the gospel they, and we minister to them about the kingdom, they're supposed to be one more. They're supposed to be hungering for this word, baby, like a baby want milk. Tell me more about this thing. Uh-uh, I can't let you go, girl. I want to hear more about this. If they ain't making y'all feel like that, they ain't giving you the kingdom. They giving you some other stuff. They giving you some personal stuff. Tell these folks to give y'all the kingdom. Because when you get the kingdom, you're going to want more of that. You're going to get jealous. You're going to want some of that. You're supposed to get jealous, baby. You're supposed to want that. Those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. You're supposed to look at somebody and say, God, no, he be moving through her. I want that. Oh, my God. God, no, he be blessing him. I want that. Who is this God that you serve? That's the way people ought to be. We ought to be impacting people's lives. If you are not changing lives, if you are not impacting lives, you need to go check yourself. Glory be to God. Let me tell y'all something. If you are able to be in Midway, Florida on April the 5th, I need you to be in Midway, Florida on April the 5th at 2 p.m. at Comfort Inn and Suites. I will be speaking at the Woman Thou Art Loose Conference on April the 5th at 2 p.m. If y'all want more details, 
go to my personal page and look at the cover photo. All of the details are on the cover photo on my personal page. If you have not followed me, y'all make sure you follow my personal page. Turn on your notifications. When you go to click the ad friend, um, it's not going to let me add you as a friend because I've reached the limit of friends, but just follow me. Just follow me. Make sure you, you hit the notification to follow me and see first. Follow me and see first. So y'all can get these notifications every single time I go live. Every single time. Everything on my page is public. So even if we're not friends, it's just like we're friends if you're following me. Because everything up there is public. Join the Divine Ones. Join my group, the Divine Ones. My Facebook group. Join the Divine Ones. Let me tell y'all. Y'all got to get in on this Divine Train. Because we're going to the Promised Land. I want all of you guys to be a part of that. I want you to be a part of that. I want your children to be a part of that. I want your family members, everybody that's connected to you. I want them to be a part of this divine movement of God. God is moving in this generation. He's, he's, or he's rising up a new generation from the ashes. We're the, we're the underdogs. We're the underdogs. We're the ones that they said wasn't going to be anything. We're the ones that they said wasn't going to be like, we, we, we weren't going to make it. But look at what God is doing in your life. Look at, look at, look at this, look at this seek that God put on the inside of you. Look at how you hungering for God. Look at how you staying into the word. Look at how you seeking the word. And every single person that's been on this live for more than a few minutes, if you got up here and you stayed up here for more than a few minutes, I want to say, I want to congratulate you for seeking the word and for wanting to hear more about the word of God. Because God is going to fill you. He going to fill you, baby. Those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. And I want to encourage you all to don't stop there. Don't stop there. Even if I'm not on live and I'm not doing anything, I want y'all to still be seeking the word of God. Still be still. You got to get it, baby, because it's within you. Spend time alone also because the kingdom of God is within you. You're going to get your, your closest encounters with God when you by yourself. I'm sorry. It ain't going to happen when you around everybody else. It's going to happen when you by yourself. Because you're going to find that there's a God inside of you. And if you spend enough time by yourself, you're going to find that God that's inside of you. So if y'all can be in Midway, Florida on April the 5th at 2 p.m., y'all come and see me. I will be at the Woman Thou Art Loose conference speaking. If you would like to book me to speak at your next event, the email information is, is pinned in the comment. It's booklatoyaokeel at gmail.com. If you like to purchase my Divine Destiny prayer journal, y'all inbox me. I can send you the link to the journal on Amazon. Now, listen, y'all. Listen up. We have a group that is coming forth in the Divine Ones. So all of my singing folks, all of my singing people, Najee, uh, make a note in the comments that they need to cut. If you, if you would like to be a part of that, I want y'all to contact Najee Thompson. Come, co contact Najee Thompson. The Lord has moved upon her to start a divine praise team so we're going to be starting a divine praise team y'all know i'm big on gifts i am big on gifts i want you to use your gifts that's the way that you are going to dominate you're going to dominate through your gift so if one of your gifts is singing and y'all are able to be a part of this i want y'all to contact her because god is really going to move in this he's really going to move in this it's the divine praise team god is really going to move in this now He's going to move in. Y'all contact Najee Thompson for more information. If you would like to sign up or even if you know anybody that you like, they really can sing. And if they're in this area or they can get here around, you know, like the Southwest Georgia area, the, the uh, Alabama area, Dothan area, Blakely area. If they somewhere in the midst of that and they want to be a part of this, it's the Divine Praise. OK, that's the name of the praise team is Divine Praise. And it's, it's from the Divine Ones. So I want you guys to join the group. If you haven't joined the Divine Ones, join the group. Contact Naja Thompson if you'd like to be a part of the Divine Praise team or you just want to get more information about it. Y'all, make sure you reach out to her. Contact her. Because I'm telling you, you, won't, you ain't going to want to miss this. You better not let it pass you by. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all going to be saying, Toy Show told me to get in on that. Y'all better get in on it while the door is wide open. Okay, because y'all know now when God start blowing blowing people up, they can't stop and check on every single <laughs> They can't stop and check on every single person that want to holler at them. You better holler at them now. Okay, somebody come on here now. You got to have a vision. It takes a vision. So if God put the gift of singing on the inside of you and you have a vision, 
reach out to Nigel Thompson. Reach out to Nigel Thompson. I love you all so very much. Y'all check out my podcast. If you have not listened to an episode of the podcast, it's called Divine Destiny with Latoya. It's on iTunes. It's on Apple Podcasts. It's on Spotify, Stitcher, Radio Public, Google Podcasts, and it'll soon be on iHeartRadio. It's called Divine Destiny with Latoya. It's actually on every single, every single podcast platform that's out there. My podcast is out there. If it's a platform out there where you can listen to podcasts, you best believe mine is up there. So y'all look me up. It's called Divine Destiny with Latoya. And I talk about spiritual gifts. I talk about finding your purpose. I talk about reaching your divine destiny. That's what I'm all about. I help men and women find their purpose and identify their areas of gifting. And I teach you how to take that talent, that God-given talent that God has given you. I teach you how to take that and glorify God with it and use it to make yourself valuable. Because I don't care what you out there doing. If you're not bringing value to anybody, you ain't doing nothing. People want to know about what can you do for me? What do you got for me? You can't, y'all can't, you can't just hit people up and be like, hey, come buy this or come buy that. These people want to know what, okay, why should I buy this? You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? What is your story? What you got going on? You got to have, you got to add value to people. And the only way that you can add value to people and, and bring value is you got to know who you are and what you can do. So I am Latoya O'Keele, your spiritual life coach and motivational speaker. I can work with you. Enter my eight-week mentorship program. I can work with you, help you figure out what is it that I do? What are my gifts? And why am I here? What is my purpose? Because once you can answer those two questions, baby, you're on your way. You're on your way then. And then you'll see that whatever you got to sell, people are going to start buying what you have to sell because you're going to be actually adding value to their life and they're going to want to spend money with you. But if you don't even if you don't even know what you can do or what your gifts are and how you can use those gifts to make yourself valuable to people, folks ain't going to buy what you got. You just somebody else selling stuff. People want to know what kind of value you're going to bring them. You got to be able to solve a problem for people. Come on, somebody. That's how you're going to come out of your seat. You got you to turn yourself into a problem solver. When you can solve somebody's problem, they're going to come looking for you. They're going to come looking for you. And they're going to reach for their wallet and they're going to spend some money with you. But they're only going to do that when you make yourself valuable to them. They got to see you as being valuable to them. And the only way they can see you as being valuable to them, you got to first know who you are and what you can do. And that's what I do. That's where I come in at. Because I work with you to identify your purpose, to figure out your areas of gifting. So you can use that knowledge, make yourself valuable. Because God told me, God said, it's not about the money. We put, we put value in money. Money is not value. You are the value. You are the value. And then money is just the way that people express value. Money is a way that people express your value. So if somebody gives you money or they buy some of your product, they're expressing the value that you just gave them. Y'all come on here now. When they give you money, when they reach for their wallet and they give you money, they not just giving you money just to be giving you money because you, you ain't getting that for free. They giving you money because they're expressing the value that you just brought to their life. You just gave them something that was valuable to them. And because you gave them something, whether it was motivation or encouraging word, a t-shirt, a book, a cup, whatever it was, you gave them something that was valuable to them. You weren't just trying to sell them something. You actually gave them value. That's when they're going to reach for their wallet. So that's why you need to know what your purpose is and you need to know what your gifts are. Okay. I love you all so much. I love you all with a divine love. Y'all make sure you keep your notifications on. Come back and see me next time I go live. I done poured it out. I gave y'all everything I had because I love God's people. Now, if you was on this live, you better know that God is going to move for you. You better know that it's done for you according to your faith. So don't let your faith waver. You got to keep unwavering faith. Okay. Now, as I tell y'all all the time on the podcast, all my podcast listeners, y'all know what I always say. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold that thing in your hand. But you got to see it in your mind first. 
Once you can see it in your mind, once you can see yourself with the blessing, you will see the blessing manifest into your hands. You will be able to lay hands on that thing in the physical, but you got to first see it in the spirit in your mind. That's faith. That's what the Bible means when it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it is the evidence of things that are not seen. That's faith. I love you all. Y'all be blessed. This has been Latoya O'Keele, your spiritual life coach and motivational speaker. If you would like to purchase one of the t-shirts that I have, y'all inbox me. Inbox me. Inbox me. If you would like one of the Beast Mode takeoff shirts, y'all inbox me. If you want a Divine Ones t-shirt, inbox me. Okay? I love you. I love you. I love you. Go and be blessed. Take this anointing with you. Don't let the enemy steal it from you. Don't let anybody take your joy because they didn't give it to you. The world didn't give it to you and don't you let them take it away. Okay? This has been Latoya O'Keele, your spiritual life coach and motivational speaker. I'll see you guys next time.